The Celestial Dragons group includes many huge families, and the five elders are just their chosen spokesmen. If their performance cannot satisfy the Celestial Dragons, their status may be affected. The invasion of the Holy Land caused great losses to many Celestial Dragons' families. The five elders must act forcefully to appease the Celestial Dragons' vengeance. Send the CPO out. Those old guys haven't made a move for many years. If you don't use them, they will die of old age and lose their use value. Let them play their last sliver before they die of old age. Proposed the blonde five elders. Okay, let's do it. Seconded. Seconded. After the five elders' order was issued, several masked agents walked out of a secret base underground in Pangu City. They are all powerful and terrifying. When the agents lined up on both sides saw the three people approaching, they hurriedly lowered their heads, held their breath, and did not dare to make a sound. These three are the most cold-blooded agents trained by the world government. No, it should be said to be a killing machine. Not only did they kill their enemies, he kissed their own. Let's go, let's go. One of them gave ten orders. Subsequently, the three left the Holy Land with hundreds of CP agents. The distant New World, Dressrosa. Of course, Lucifer didn't know that his beheading of Doflamingo had caused a shock in naval headquarters, and the world government sent troops to hunt him down. At the moment, he is enjoying the joy after the war. The nether pirates found a place that was still intact and were having a banquet. Captain, where do we go next? At the banquet, Enel took the bone and meat and ate it so much that his mouth was full of oil. His fighting spirit is still high, and he still wants to find some stronger opponents. He has long heard that New World has hidden dragons and crouching tigers, and there are many masters. Enel can't wait to fight more powerful opponents and become stronger from the battle. Let's rest for a few days. I've been sailing these days, and I'm going to throw up. Dressrosa is pretty good here. There are many beauties, especially the dancers. They dance very well and are enthusiastic. Captain, let's play here for a while. Cavendish held a red wine glass, his eyes glowing. Hey, 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 Cavendish is right. I agree with his proposal. Captain Lucifer, let's stay a few more days. When Guy heard that there was a beautiful woman, he immediately showed a wretched look on his face. Do you think, under such circumstances, you can still find a dancer to dance with you? Baby Five glanced into the distance, the whole dress rosa was in a mess, and the people in the country were still in a state of panic and fled in all directions. Without leadership, it will take a long time to quell the panic in the country. It takes a lot of time to rebuild the country. In this case, those happy places are not open. Upon hearing this, Cavendish and Gaisa immediately became depressed. At this moment, the familiar feeling of spying came again. Enel frowned, revealing a hint of killing intent. Is the woman still alive? It was uncomfortable to be spied on, and Enel hated it. She's here in person, can you just ask her? Lucifer said flatly. Soon, a series of footsteps sounded, and a group of four people came from a distance. The leader was a muscular old man followed by two women and a man with a broken foot. One of the women is Violet who was the first to discover Lucifer's whereabouts with the goggle fruit. Violet knew about the enmity between Lucifer and Doflamingo early on, and knew that Lucifer's landing on Dressrosa was not a good person, so she didn't tell Doflamingo the news, but hid early. Only after the battle was over did she dare to reveal her whereabouts. At the same time, she also recovered her memory, and met King Riku, Cyrus, Rebecca and others. Then they came together to find Lucifer. Doflamingo was defeated by Lucifer, and Dressrosa is still under Lucifer's control. If they want to return to the throne and rule the country, they must consult Lucifer. Lord Lu, I am Violet, and I have known you for a long time. In front of Lucifer, Violet is very humble. What's up? Lucifer asked flatly. I want to know, Lord Lucifer's thoughts on Dressrosa. If your excellency wants to rule this country, my father is willing to give up the throne, as long as his excellency Lucifer treats the citizens of this country well. Your Majesty King Riku, this. As soon as this remark came out, Cyrus next to him was shocked immediately. Never mind, Cyrus, that's what I mean. King Riku shook his head, indicating that he didn't care, a trace of fatigue appeared on his old face. The old king was very self aware. They couldn't even resist Doflamingo, and naturally they couldn't resist the stronger Lucifer. At this moment, it is wise to give up the throne to protect the people of the country. King Riku loves the people very much, and it can be said that he is a rare king in the Grand Line who puts the people first. But it is a pity that his kindness is useless in this world of the jungle, and will only put his country in danger. Lucifer glanced at the four of them, and said lightly, I have no interest in ruling this country, and I will leave soon. However, I have a message for you. In this world, kindness is useless. It will only make others think you are cowardly and deceitful. 
If you want to protect the people, the only way is to increase your strength. In this sea of the jungle, only strength is eternal. King Riku was slightly taken aback, with a complicated expression, and then he sighed deeply. Maybe you're right. King Liku and his party left, and they were going to save the country in dire straits. Under the leadership of King Liku, Dressrosa must be able to recover and be reborn soon. But as Lucifer said, without strong armed forces, Dressrosa will never be able to get real peace. Maybe future Dressrosa will be more dangerous. There were so many flamencos in Dressrosa before, Hai didn't dare to come here to make trouble. But after losing Doflamingo's deterrence, the pirates dared to come here to plunder with confidence. But none of this has anything to do with Lucifer. Lucifer came here just to hunt Doflamingo. As for saving the country, he has no interest in doing it. In other words, if Lucifer stays in this country, it will bring disaster to this country instead. Naval headquarters and the world government hate him to the core, in order to eliminate Lucifer, they will even dispatch Buster Call. By then, the island of Dressrosa will disappear from the map. Let's go, it's time to leave. After the banquet, Lucifer and others set sail again. Nether left the port of Dressrosa, embarked on the journey again, and disappeared into the boundless sea. In the cabin of Nether, Lucifer took out the six devil fruits he harvested this time. String string fruit, tongchu fruit, shishi fruit, sticky fruit, explosive fruit, watery fruit. Including Lucifer's original saber tooth tiger fruit, transparent fruit and door door fruit, Lucifer now has a total of nine devil fruits. System, recover childlike fruits, sticky fruits, explosive fruits, and watery fruits. Lucifer gave the order in his mind. Ding, the childish fruit, sticky fruit, explosive fruit, and watery fruit have been recovered, and 60,000 killing points have been obtained. The electronic sound of the system sounded, and Lucifer's total kill points reached 475,000. Among the four recovered fruits, the sticky fruit and the watery fruit are the most useless, and the explosive fruit is so-so, and can only turn inorganic substances into bombs. These three fruits are used to train cadres, and they cannot quickly increase their combat power in a short period of time. The ability of Tongchu fruit is very heaven-defying, as long as it can turn people into toys and erase memories. Theoretically, even marine admiral or even four emperors cannot resist this force. But a theory is always a theory, and trying to beat marine admiral or four emperors with childlike fruits is just a daydream. This fruit is very good for making puppets, but Lucifer doesn't need puppets, and can only make the system recycle into a killing point. The last string string fruit and shishi fruit were left behind by Lucifer. If these two devil fruits meet qualified people, they will soon be able to cultivate two powerful combat forces. Although string string fruit can no longer meet the second doflamingo, but with the existence of doflamingo, the prestige of this fruit is still great. String string fruit, shishi fruit, saber toothed tiger fruit, and transparent fruit. Lucifer still has four powerful devil fruits in his hand. Properties panel. Host. Lucifer age, 23. Devil fruit. Word spirit fruit physique, hell devil. Armament hockey. Pinnacle observation hockey, pinnacle. Conqueror's hockey, pinnacle kill points, 475000. It's not far from the 1 million killing point. It seems that we must hurry up and find a stronger target. Lucifer glanced at the attribute panel, and already began to choose the next prey in his mind. There are countless powerful pirate groups in New World, and there are plenty of prey. As long as Lucifer is willing to take the time to find it, there is no need to worry about killing points. The news that Doflamingo was defeated soon spread throughout the world, but naval headquarters has already suppressed Doflamingo as a marine vice admiral. Doflamingo was expelled from Shichibukai for selling weapons and controlling the country, and took back all his powers. Under the joint control of naval headquarters and the world government, this matter was soon confirmed. Only some big pirates and underground kings in New World know that the one who really defeated Doflamingo was Lucifer. Because of this, some big pirates and underground kings have a sense of fear. Lucifer's reputation has spread all over the world. Pirates are more afraid of Lucifer than Marine. Because Lucifer's road to fame was formed by piling up the corpses of countless pirates. Just entered New World and killed a Shichibukai, whose turn will it be next? Marine's method is really disgusting, can you claim to be righteous like this? On the deck of the nether, Cavendish looked at the newspaper in his hand and couldn't help showing disgust. Ha 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 ha, Marine's usual style is like this, it's nothing unusual, I've been used to it for a long time. Guy sat aside and let out a harsh laugh. As a former Marine scientist, he has seen this kind of thing countless times. The government of the world has also conducted many illegal experiments. Once they fail or cause bad results, they will blame the pirates. That's right. 
sometimes Marine can do whatever it takes to cover up the truth and deceive the world. The original Marine Rear Admiral Jack is obviously familiar with the Marine way of doing things. Okay. Marine is none of our business, your top priority is to improve your strength. If you don't become stronger quickly, you will be eliminated soon. After speaking, Lucifer rang, and the gravity field doubled in an instant. Enel, Cavendish, Jack and Guy were crushed on the deck at the same time. Especially the newly joined Gysa, he has not yet gotten used to the hell training method of the nether pirates, and his consciousness was almost crushed by gravity. Seeing their painful expressions and miserable wailing, Lucifer felt very good. After creating the gravity training environment, Lucifer continued to read the newspaper. The situation in the new world is changing rapidly, and it is also very important to understand intelligence. And if you want to find a target suitable for hunting, you also need to learn from the newspaper. The news of the new world spread quickly, and some big pirates would be exposed by the newspapers as long as there was a little trouble. Just like the traffic star in Lucifer's previous life, chewing gum can be a hot search. Baby 5, pour me a glass of red wine, and make a barbecue for 100 people. Yes, Captain Lucifer. Upon hearing the order, the only untrained baby immediately went to serve Lucifer with a shy face. Baby 5 is now being trained by Lucifer to be the firepower of the Nether Pirates. She only needs to speed up her familiarization with the weapons on the Pluton battleship, and she doesn't need to train as hard as Enel and the others. When the made version of Iron Man is completely updated, it will surely shock the whole world. Um. Lucifer, who was flipping through the newspaper, suddenly stopped, and a piece of news in the newspaper caught his attention. Whitebeard 2 destroys Gordon Island, killing a large number of civilians. Finally there is news about this guy. Lucifer looked at the photo of Whitebeard 2 in the newspaper, and a sinister sneer appeared on the corner of Lucifer's mouth. Lucifer had originally planned to recruit a few more crew members in New World, but Guy was a windfall, which was not in his original plan. This Whitebeard 2 Edward Wabel is the crew that Lucifer originally wanted to recruit. This guy is very powerful, although it is not known whether he is Whitebeard's own son, but his monster physique can indeed be compared with a young Whitebeard. And he is very manipulative, as long as he solves his dwarf mother, Edward Wabel, he will always be obedient. Gordon Island, it's not very far from here. Lucifer glanced at the date in the newspaper, the incident happened just yesterday. If he rushed to Gordon Island now, Whitebeard too might not have left yet. After closing the newspaper, Lucifer immediately steered the Erebus to change course. Under the control of Lucifer, the Nether sailed very fast, and disappeared in the boundless sea in a short while. A day later, Gordon Island Palace, boom, boom, boom. Several loud noises erupted from the palace, resounding all around. Clouds of black smoke rose into the sky, and Tamaya was filled with extinguishing light. In the flames, a huge figure with a height of more than 6 meters and close to 7 meters is waving a huge naganata. Every time the knife fell, a huge knife energy was released, destroying the palace walls of the palace. There were nearly a thousand guards guarding the palace, but they were all defeated by that monster at the moment. On the ground behind the monster, there were countless corpses lying in disorder. This monster is Whitebeard too, Edward Wabel. Stop him. Everyone go up together, don't be afraid. The leader of the guard army held a huge machete, hissing and roaring. Backquote We are the well-trained guards of the Gordon Kingdom. We have sworn allegiance to His Majesty the King. Today is the time for us to dedicate our lives. For His Majesty the King, we must defeat this hateful pirate. Encouraged by the leader of the guard army, the remaining soldiers of the guard army raised their courage one after another and headed towards Wable Doctor. The soldiers in the rear fired at the same time, firing countless bullets. But the bullet hit Wable's body without even breaking the skin, leaving only a few white marks. It hurts, you bastards. Wable has a simple mind, and he will yell when he feels the slightest pain in his body. He swung his naganata and slashed down angrily, knocking all the hundreds of guards in front of him into the air. The dozen or so guards who were hit by the Naganata in the front were cut off in half. The leader of the guard army gritted his teeth and did it himself, but was also defeated by Wable with a knife, and even the knife and the man were cut in half. The leader of the guard army died in battle, and the rest of the guard army soldiers immediately lost their courage to fight and fled in a panic. Mom, the enemy has been defeated, you can come in. Seeing that the enemy was repulsed, Wable hurriedly shouted to the back. Immediately afterwards, a short, dwarf old woman came out from behind. She is Wable's mother, Miss Bajan who claims to be Whitebeard's lover. Ha 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 ha, well done my son, you really are the best. The old woman laughed wildly, her twisted and ugly face was disgusting. But she didn't feel it at all, and walked into the palace with Wable swaggeringly. 
The Kingdom of Gordon is just a small country, and it is not a member country of the world government, so its national strength is very weak. When Wabel invaded, the king had already fled with the queen and prince, leaving only an empty palace and castle. But people can run, but the treasure is too late to take away. Miss Ba Jin is domineering, ambitious, and a woman who loves money extremely. She let Wabel break into the palace, the purpose is to plunder the treasure in the palace. Yesterday Bajin had Wabel destroy a small town on Gordon Island and loot a lot of treasure. But Ba Jin was still not satisfied, and took Wabel into the palace the next day, which shows how greedy this woman is. From the perspective of outsiders, Miss Bajin is a dwarf, and it is impossible to give birth to a Wabel who is nearly 7 meters tall. So many people think that Wabel is not the son of Miss Ba Jin. Ba Jin just used Wabel as a tool and used him to plunder treasure. After entering the palace, Miss Ba Jin quickly found the palace vault. The door of the vault was split open by Wabel. Seeing the glittering treasure inside, Miss Ba Jin burst into a smile, and his eyes almost popped out. Ha 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 ha, well done, my son, this time is another big harvest. Ba Jin walked into the vault, put several strings of gold necklaces around his neck, and put twenty rings on the ten fingers of his hands. If her fingers were longer, she would be able to wear thirty rings. As long as you're happy, Mom. Wabel obeys Miss Bajan's words, as long as it is Bajan's order, Wabel will obey unconditionally. Just when Ba Jin was immersed in the joy of harvesting treasures, suddenly an indifferent voice rang in his ears. You can only choose between money and life, which would you choose? Ba Jin was startled and his face changed drastically. Just as he was about to turn around, his body was hit hard and he shot out uncontrollably. Ba Jin smashed through the wall of the vault, penetrated three walls in a row, and was finally buried by a pile of ruins. Mother. Seeing that Ba Jin was beaten into the air, Wabel was furious immediately. Just as he was about to make a move, a strong force of gravity suddenly pressed against his body. Boom. Wabel's nearly seven meter long body collapsed, his head hitting the ground and smashing the rocky ground. Suppressed by gravity, Wabel couldn't move, he could only growl and growl. Who? Who are you? Come out faster. I'm in so much pain. Where are you, mom? Wabel's face was covered with blood, his head was buried in the ground, he was yelling loudly, tears and snot coming out of his nose. At this time, Lucifer came from a distance and stepped on Wabel. Rumble. Gravity strengthened again, and the ground under Lucifer's feet became violent every inch, and cracks spread like spiderwebs. All the bones in Wabel's body creaked, and the sound became even more shrill. Phew, suddenly, a bolt of lightning flashed away. Enel came behind Lucifer. He was still holding a dwarf old woman with blood on her face and a weak breath in her hand, she was Miss Ba Jin. Captain, people have brought it. Enel threw Barjan at Lucifer's feet. The strength of this woman was a bit beyond Lucifer's expectations. Not only did she not die from the blow just now, but she still maintained the last trace of consciousness. It is said that she once stayed in the Lox Pirates with Whitebeard, and she also has some strength herself. Lu. Lucifer. Ba Jin was delirious, but he vaguely saw Lucifer's face and recognized her identity. Seeing Lucifer, Miss suddenly filled with infinite fear. Lucifer's vicious reputation is well known to the world, and if it falls into his hands, it will hardly end well. I won't talk nonsense, give Wabel to me, and you can live. Lucifer said indifferently. Okay, okay, I promise. Miss Ba Jin was greedy for life and afraid of death, so he agreed without even thinking about it. She looked at Wabel at Lucifer's feet and shouted with the last of her strength, Wabel, from today onwards you will follow this man and listen to him. Whatever he says, you do. Why, why, mother? Wabel's physical strength is worthy of being comparable to that of a young whitebeard, and he is still awake under Lucifer's supergravity. Although he screamed in pain, he did not lose consciousness. And judging by the breath, even if the current gravity is doubled, it still can't make him lose consciousness. Such a super strong body surpasses Enel, Cavendish and others too much. Apart from his demon physique, Wabel's physique was the strongest he had ever seen. Don't ask why, you just have to listen to me. Facing Lucifer, Miss Ba Jin was obedient and frightened. But facing Wabel, she was bossy and punched hard. Hearing that Ba Jin was angry, Wabel quickly responded, I know mom, Wabel will be obedient. For Ba Jin, Wabel really obeyed. Well, this is my good son. Ba Jin showed a humble begging smile to Lucifer, is it all right, Master Lucifer? Looking at her twisted and ugly old face, Lucifer really almost threw up, it was so disgusting. With a hook of the finger, a strong repulsive force erupted, knocking it out of the palace. 
she didn't dare to stay here, and hurriedly dragged her seriously injured body and fled to the distance. Miss Ba Jin was reborn after the catastrophe, and there was a resentment in his heart. Although he didn't dare to say it on the surface, he already hated Lucifer in his heart. Just wait Lucifer, I won't let you go. Weibel is my tool, and only I can use it. Woman who dares to hurt Whitebeard, you are dead. Perhaps he has been lying to others for so long that he has deceived himself. Until now, Miss Bajan still considers herself a Whitebeard woman. In this regard, Lucifer can only say that this woman has lost her mind. Who is Whitebeard? What kind of woman does he want and can't find? Even Bigmom would love to have a baby with Whitebeard. You know, when Bigmom was young, his figure was very hot and his appearance was very high. No matter how blind Whitebeard is, he wouldn't take a fancy to something like Bajin. However, Lucifer is also curious about what kind of monster it will be if Whitebeard and Bigmom do have a baby. Combining Whitebeard's physique with Bigmom's physique, this pirate will really become the scariest monster on the sea. However, being touched by Miss Ba Jin like this is the biggest black history of Whitebeard. Call out. At this moment, a vacuum slash suddenly appeared behind Ba Jin's back, and instantly slashed across Ba Jin's neck. Ba Jin's ugly head broke away from his neck and soared into the sky. The scene in Ba Jin's eyes hangs upside down quickly, and a trace of unwillingness floods into his mind, and finally disappears slowly with his consciousness, and finally falls into darkness. Before Ba Jin could react, she was already dead. In the distance, Jack withdrew his palm. Looking at Miss Ba Jin's ugly face, he almost vomited the overnight meal. I'm impulsive, I should let you make a move. Jack shook his head and said, Are you kidding me? My Durandal won't chop such a disgusting woman. Cavendish's sword Durandal is a rare famous sword, he can't use his own sword to cut Bajin, it's disgusting. From beginning to end, Lucifer had no intention of keeping Ba Jin alive. Convincing Weibel is her only use value. After draining the last use value, she will naturally be sent to die. On the other hand, Lucifer lifted the gravity field. Weibel crawled out of the pothole with no broken bones except a few bruises all over his body. My name is Lucifer, and I will be your captain from today on. Don't worry about anything else, just follow my orders. Lucifer looked at Weibel and said, Yes, Captain Lucifer. Weibel does what Lucifer says. With Ba Jin's persuasion, it's that simple to subdue Weibel. Let's go. Get out of here first. Lucifer turned and walked away. Captain Lucifer, where's mom? Weeble asked nervously, following behind Lucifer. She's gone to see your father. Lucifer replied blankly. Really? Do I have a father? Yeah, mom said, my dad is Whitebeard. My beard is the same as his. Weeble pointed to his beard and said. Maybe. For this question, no one knows the answer. Soon, Lucifer took Weeble back to the Erebus. Baby Five and Gaisa have been waiting for a long time. Both of them were a little surprised to see Lucifer brought back a seven meter tall monster. In terms of size, Weibel is indeed the largest in the Nether Pirates. Hey blah blah blah, if this guy is used as a test subject to enlarge the human body, the possibility of success is very high. Gaia looked at Weibel, his eyes sparkling. The world government has done experiments on human giantization, and Gaisa has also participated in this experiment. Only later because the death rate was too high, the world government gave up this experiment. But in Geis's view, the reason why the experiment failed was that no strong experimental subject was found. Weibel's body shape and his exuberant vitality make him the best experimental subject. Although he has now joined the Nether Pirates, Guy still does not forget his crazy experiments. It is Guy's last obsession to surpass Vegapunk and become the strongest scientist in the world. Weibel is already a member of the Nether Pirates, not your experimental subject, you have to remember this. Lucifer glanced at Guy and said lightly, The captain is right. Now that you're on the ship, you're a partner. It is never allowed to hurt a partner in the Nether Pirates. Enel's body flashed with lightning, revealing a murderous look. Well, don't be angry, don't be angry, I was just joking. Guy was taken aback, waved his hands quickly, and wiped the cold sweat off his forehead at the same time. Facing the two monsters Lucifer and Enel, Guy didn't really dare to be too presumptuous. Don't worry, when the time is right, there will be plenty of opportunities for you to show your talents. Guy is a mad scientist, and Lucifer certainly won't let his talent go unnoticed. Hey blah blah blah, then I'm looking forward to that day, Captain. Guy turned into gas and flew back and forth, obviously extremely excited. Okay, the person has been found, Tien Hai. Lucifer gave the order. Cavendish. Yes, Captain. Cavendish went to the bow to take the helm, and steered the nether to set sail again. 
Soon, the nether disappeared into the sea. Boom, 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 boom. In a sea area of New World, artillery fire roared. A pirate ship with a human face is singing, and many cannonballs with human faces are fired from the ship. These shells have life and can automatically track the enemy. Ha 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 ha, don't run away, I found you. Let me come, I can kill him with one bomb. I came first, don't rob me. Hundreds of shells yelled and hit a pirate ship. Accompanied by the sound of gunfire, the pirate ship was blown up and the wreck sank into the sea. Dozens of pirates fell into the sea and struggled, but were crushed by the singing pirate ship. This ship is the main ship of the BIGMOM pirates, Queen Mother Anthem. Haven't you found any traces of the ghost pirates yet? How did you do it? On the bow of the pirate ship, a man with a huge samurai sword on his back and a very fat man yelled to the left and right. He is one of the BIGMOM pirates' desert generals, Charlotte Snag. This time I came out, following the order of the four emperor's aunt, to send Lucifer an invitation to the tea party. It's just that New World is too big, and Lucifer's whereabouts are erratic. They haven't found it after searching for it for more than a month. Hearing that Lucifer defeated Doflamingo, Snug went to Dressrosa. As a result, not only did not find Lucifer, but encountered the marine fleet to clean up the mess, and a war almost broke out. Fortunately, he escaped quickly, and naval headquarters didn't want to conflict with the BIGMOM pirates, so he escaped unharmed. I'm sorry, Lord Snug, but I'm incompetent. Eggbaron came behind Snug, bowed and apologized. Okay, hurry up and contact the BIGMOM pirates outside eyeliners, and let them pay close attention to Lucifer's whereabouts. This bastard, when you find him, lousy must make him look good. He did useless work for a month, and was almost hunted down by the marine fleet, which made Snug furious. The reason why he ordered the bombardment of the pirate group just now was to vent his anger in his heart. At this moment, a chess player suddenly shouted. Master Snug, traces of pirate ships have been found in the sea ahead. Oh? Here again? There was a trace of killing intent in Snag's eyes. Go up and destroy that pirate ship. Having just wiped out a pirate group, Snug's anger has not yet been vented, and he is in need of new prey. Baron Eggy, Pokemus and others next to him shook their heads slightly. They could only say that these pirates were too unlucky to meet the angry Lord Snug. However, the chess player just now suddenly let out another exclamation. Master Snuggle, what appeared in the sea ahead are the nether pirates. What did you say? Snag quickly grabbed the binoculars from the chess player and looked towards the sea ahead. Sure enough, a devil pirate flag appeared in his pupil. Lucifer, finally found you. I haven't found it after searching for more than a month but now I met it by chance in the sea. It can only be said that this is the guidance of fate. Damn bastard, Lousy really worked so hard to find you. Snag's accumulated anger was about to explode at this moment. Don't be impulsive, Lord Snug. Please appease your anger, you are a heavenly being. Mom said, don't conflict with Lucifer, we're just here to send invitations. Seeing Snug burst out with murderous intent, Baron Eggy and Pokemus hurried forward to stop him. They don't forget that Lucifer is a terrifying monster who can defeat Marine Admiral. They alone are no match for Lucifer. If Snug gets his shot at Lucifer, they're dead. A monster who dared to single-handedly invade the holy land of Mariajoy and slaughter the celestial dragons, they would not think that Lucifer would be afraid of Bigmom. Being stopped by Eggy Baron and Pokemus, Snug finally suppressed the anger in his heart, and at the same time, he couldn't help feeling a wave of fear in his heart. Overwhelmed with anger just now, they almost forgot that they were facing a monster that could rival the four emperor's pirates. Put the boat aboard. Snag gave the order. Yes, Lord Snug. The chess soldiers listened to the order, immediately turned the bow of the ship, and headed for the nether. At the same time, Anil on the nether also discovered the existence of the Queen Mother Anthem. Captain Lucifer, there is a pirate ship coming towards us, do you want to take action? These guys really don't know how to live or die, they rushed to the door to die. Anil's body flickered with lightning. As Lucifer's reputation spread all over the world, the nether pirates have become one of the untouchable existences in the new world. On the sea, when pirates saw the flag of the nether pirates, they all ran away and did not dare to approach. Pirates who dare to take the initiative to get closer to the nether pirates have not appeared for a long time. This guy dares to take the initiative to come to the door, he should have good strength? A savage grin appeared on the corner of Enel's mouth. I'll also take a look, which pirate group is so courageous? Ha 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 ha, I'm also very interested. Cavendish, Gysa and the others also ran to the bow of the ship, picked up binoculars to check the pirate ship in the distance. That's the flag of the BIGMOM pirates. That's right, it's the flag of the four emperors. Why are they here? 
Unlike Enel, Cavendish and Guy recognized BIGMOM's pirate logo at a glance. Oh. Is it from that old woman? Lucifer under the sun umbrella opened his eyes, and at the same time turned on the observation hockey and spread it into the distance. Peak observation hockey, instantly enveloped the Queen Mother Anthem in the distance. The old lady is gone, there are only a few small roles. In the eyes of Lucifer today, except for four emperors, the rest are small roles. Even the desserts will be the star, no exception. Captain, do you want to attack? Enel is ready to go. Wait. Look at their appearance, it seems that they are looking for us. Lucifer's observation hockey has sensed each other's emotions and aura. Soon, the two ships met on the sea. Is it the devil Lucifer? I'm Charlotte Snag, one of the four desert generals of the BIGMOM pirates. Snug stood on the bow of the anthem, shouting at the Erebus. What can you do with our captain? It was Enel who answered the call, and Lucifer was still lying on the beach chair without moving. Opposite is the younger brother coming to the door, Lucifer naturally will not take the initiative to greet him. That doesn't suit who he is. Snug wasn't angry when he saw Enel, he knew Lucifer's strength and his confidence. Mom is about to hold a tea party, let me send an invitation letter to your excellency Lucifer, please appreciate it. Snug took out an invitation letter from his pocket, flicked it, and shot at Enel. Enel's expression remained unchanged, he stretched out two fingers and pinched the invitation letter between his fingers. Then bring it to Lucifer. The tea party of the BIGMOM pirates. This old woman really likes to hold parties. Lucifer opened the invitation and glanced at it. There was a lot of nonsense written on it, and there was only one sentence to sum it up. My wife is going to have a banquet, so you should come and join me. Pirates love parties, just like the Whitebeard pirates and the Red Hair pirates. As long as there is no fighting, there is a banquet almost every day. But BIGMOM is different, she likes to invite people other than the pirates to the party. The kings of the underground world, some big figures on the sea, well-known pirates, and nobles are all among her invitations. The person who receives the invitation cannot refuse, and once BIGMOM refuses, someone will send a gift to that person. This gift may be the head or heart of that person's relatives, or the corpse of a fellow pirate. All in all, this invitation letter is said to be an invitation, but it is actually an order. Lucifer walked to the bow with the invitation letter, looked at Snug, and smiled playfully. I heard that those who receive the invitation cannot refuse, otherwise they will be retaliated by BIGMOM. If I refuse today, will the BIGMOM pirates retaliate against me? Snuggle's face changed, and Baron Eggy and Porkmus behind him were covered in cold sweat. Being stared at by Lucifer, they felt chills all over their bodies, and, September 13, found that their bodies had become stiff at some point, and they couldn't even move. No, it won't. Lord Lucifer was joking. Snag laughed dryly. Only now did he understand what the three words Lucifer meant. This pirate who has just entered the new world really has the strength to fight against BIGMOM. Snug feels that what he is facing now is the four emperors. Only the four emperors could make him so powerless that he couldn't resist. Go back and tell BIGMOM, just say I promised, I will arrive on time when the tea party starts. Lucifer withdrew his momentum, letting Snag and the others breathe a sigh of relief. Yes, I will tell the truth. Snug wiped the cold sweat off his forehead, and quickly ordered Baron Dandon to sail away from here. At some point, his whole body was drenched in cold sweat. Huh, it's really dangerous. Just now I thought I was going to be killed. That man is indeed a monster. Eggy Baron and Pokemus are both scared. They ordered the chess soldiers to increase the speed of the boat to the fastest, and did not dare to stay in this sea area for a moment. Captain, do you just let them go? The strength of a few guys on board is pretty good, right? Enel was a little puzzled, how could the captain be merciful today when he usually sees a captain who kills one? Is it a show of mercy? Cavendish, Jack and others also looked at Lucifer with doubts on their faces. Lucifer smiled faintly, and sat back on the beach chair. What's the use of killing a snug now? It's exciting to go to BIGMOM's lair and make a fuss. What does the captain mean to use the invitation letter to make trouble at the tea party? Jack instantly understood Lucifer's plan, it's just that the idea surprised them. Sneaking into a four emperors pirate base and hunting down the four emperors is too crazy to even think about. On the day of the tea party, the elite of the BIGMOM pirates will definitely gather. At that time, what they will face is the full combat power of the BIGMOM pirates. Hey, hey, Captain, you're not serious, are you? Cavendish's face changed greatly with fright, and his mouth was full of fangs. One is not good, but it will kill people. That is, there is no chance of winning, we will die there. Captain Lucifer, there is still time to change your mind. 
Guy Saw has also turned into gas with fright, his voice is more piercing than ever. Guy has always been relatively timid, even he dare not provoke Shichibukai, let alone four emperors. Although he knows that Lucifer is very strong and can compete with four emperors. But Lucifer is strong, not them. Lucifer can compete with Bigmom, but they can't compete with the many cadres of Bigmom. Big Mom is not the only monster in the Bigmom pirates, her sons and daughters are all monsters too. If you face them, you will die. Yeah ha ha ha, what's there to be afraid of, it's interesting. Unlike Cavendish and Guy, Enel was not only not afraid, but excited. He has long heard how strong the Four Emperors pirate group is and how many monsters there are, and now he can finally fight against them. Give up, it is impossible to change what the captain decides. Jack stood in the corner smoking a cigarette and said calmly. As long as it is Captain Lucifer's order, I will carry it out unconditionally. Baby Five blushed. Me too. Wable is out of his mind, but he does what Lucifer tells him to do. After being subdued by Lucifer, Wabel will do whatever Lucifer says. If you are afraid, practice hard, there are still two months before the tea party, and there is still plenty of time. With my help, your strength can be improved a lot. Lucifer's hellish approach to training was very effective. In just a few months, the strength of Enel and others has been greatly improved. Today's nether, all members have mastered the armed color and observation hockey, and the level is not low. Coupled with their respective fruit abilities and fighting styles, each can be regarded as a powerful combat force in the new world. Give them another two months, and the strength of Enel and others will be reborn again. The nether continued to sail, and Lucifer was like a hunter, looking for his prey on the sea. New World, Ford Island. The shape of the island is very strange, looking down from the sky, the shape of the island looks like a footprint. It consists of a rectangular main island and five small islands. There is no country on the island, but there are human towns. It is not as chaotic as Sanwu Island, but there are also many pirates gathered here. Rumble. A huge fireball exploded on the main island, raising a huge mushroom cloud. The pirate ship on the shore was engulfed by the sea of flames and burned to ashes. Bastard, damned bastard, Lucifer, lousy can't spare you. A burly man with blood on his face roared and rushed towards Lucifer with a big sword in his hand. His speed was extremely fast, and his figure flickered, leaving behind afterimages. In less than half a breath, he had already reached the top of Lucifer's head. Go to hell, you bloody bastard. The big man slashed down with his sword angrily, with the momentum of smashing Huishan with strength. The blade is pitch black and covered with high-density armament hockey. Boom. There was a loud bang and sparks flew everywhere. The man's big sword was blocked by a barrier, no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't drop a single point. Is it only to this extent? Lucifer shook his head, hooked his finger, and the big man was immediately sent flying, and then a laser beam shot out, piercing his head instantly. In this way, a new world pirate captain with a bounty of 340 million died in the hands of Lucifer. Ding! Host killed the pirate Cool Cooper as Laika, and got 34,000 kill points. The system prompt sounded in Lucifer's mind, and Lucifer opened the property panel immediately. Properties panel. Host. Lucifer age, 23. Devil Fruit. Word Spirit Fruit Physique, Hell Devil. Armament Hockey. Pinnacle Observation Hockey, Pinnacle. Conqueror's Hockey, Pinnacle Kill Points, 605000. More than 20 days have passed since receiving the invitation letter from BIGMOM. During these 20 days, Lucifer wiped out three New World Pirate groups and gained more than 100,000 kills. Now his total kill point has exceeded 600,000. New World is indeed different from the first half of Grand Line. Killing a pirate captain can at least gain tens of thousands of killing points. Destroy a pirate group, and the minimum harvest can exceed 50,000. Seeing the killing points keep rising, Lucifer was in a good mood. Call out. A flash of lightning, Enel came behind Lucifer. He also held a corpse in his hand, the deputy captain of the Islaika pirates. Looking at his scorched and distorted appearance, it was very miserable when he wanted to die. How is the situation? Has everything been resolved? Lucifer asked calmly, it should all be resolved, after all we are the nether pirates. While speaking, Cavendish, Baby Five, Wabel and Jack all came from afar. There was blood on their bodies, and the murderous aura on their bodies had not subsided. Where's Guy? Where is he? Lucifer glanced at everyone, there were seven members of the nether pirates, only Guy disappeared. He won't be killed? He won't be killed? Enel pouted, a little gloating, it's possible, it's Guy after all. Well said. If it was him, it wouldn't be surprising if the boat capsized in the gutter. 
Cavendish, Baby Five and Jack all nodded. It is true that Guy is very powerful, but he is too arrogant and arrogant. He is different from Enel, and he still can't change the arrogance of Logia ability users. I always think that people with Logia abilities are invincible, and often use their bodies to receive the enemy's attacks. His observation hockey is not as good as Enel, so after he detects that the enemy uses armament hockey, it is too late to dodge. During this period, Les suffered the most injuries. Boom. Suddenly there was a loud noise, a four-story building was pierced by a black shadow, and the building collapsed. A black shadow fell from the sky, and finally landed at Lucifer's feet, it was Guy. Cough cough cough. Guy vomited blood, and a shoe print was clearly visible on his face. Hey, hey, he was really killed, I was just talking casually. Seeing Guy's miserable look, Enel twitched the corner of his mouth. He didn't expect his crow's mouth to be so powerful. The faces of Cavendish, Baby Five and the others were a bit ugly. Although Guy said he was a little arrogant, he was their partner after all. Being beaten like this, they don't have face on their faces. There shouldn't be anyone in the is like a pirates who can beat Guy like this. Jack looked in the direction where Guy saw Flu, and said with a smoke ring. No, it's not a pirate. Lucifer looked forward, and three figures came out from behind the smoke. The three were dressed in white clothes and strange masks, each of them was more than three meters tall. Behind the three, there was a group of agents in black clothes, about a hundred people. Agent CP? It's not an ordinary CP agent, it's a CPO. Lucifer looked at the head of the three, narrowing his eyes slightly. CPO is the strongest existence in the CP organization, and the people inside are all very strong. Just like the three in front of Lucifer, from observation hockey's perception, each one is comparable to Doflamingo in strength. Damn bastard, you dare to slap this uncle in the face, this uncle will not spare you. Guy scattered up from the ground, growling loudly. You'd better step back, these people are not something you can deal with. Enel pushed Guy away and took a step forward. His observation hockey also sensed that this group of people is very strong, much stronger than the so-called New World Pirates. The current guy can only deal with the ordinary agents in the back. Of the three leaders, he couldn't beat any of them. Finally found you, Demon Lucifer. An old and deep voice came from under the blood-red grimace mask. It was extremely cold and hoarse, as if it could freeze the blood in the whole body of a human body. Sinners who invade the Holy Land, let them be captured. You dare to hurt the great celestial dragons, and you are unforgivable. The other two agents wearing bone skull masks and three-eyed masks also made voices, as old and hoarse as the first person. Listening to the sound combined with the breath, Lucifer can judge that the three leading agents are not young, at least over fifty or even sixty years old. Has the pursuer from the Holy Land finally arrived? It's unexpectedly late. After Lucifer bulldozed Maria Joy, he already knew that the world government would send someone to hunt him down. It's just that he came so late that he didn't expect it. It has been more than a month and nearly two months since Lucifer bulldozed the Holy Land. Lucifer glanced at them and smiled slightly, did the five elders send you guys here? It's a bit of a daydream to want to catch me with such a small force. HMPH, Demon Lucifer, don't be too arrogant, this time I will make a move, and you will be smashed to pieces. As soon as the voice fell, the agent wearing the blood-red grimace mask instantly disappeared in place and teleported to Lucifer. A huge, blood-red crescent moon formed and slashed at Lucifer's neck. That blood-red meniscus is not an ordinary slash, but formed by the purest blood. Die, Lucifer. Boom. A shockwave erupted, blowing up dust all over the sky. Lucifer stood in place, motionless, with an invisible transparent wall in front of him, blocking the man's attack. Blood slash, an ability I've never seen before. Lucifer flicked it with his fingers and instantly knocked it into the air. HMPH, that's because people who have seen the old man's ability are already dead without a place to bury them. Blood scythe attack. Along with the roar, countless blood colored sickles took shape and flew towards Lucifer densely. The other two also started at this time. Sharp and ferocious bone spurs erupted from one person's body, and with a flick of his big hand, countless bone spurs formed densely packed bone spur chain knives, slashing towards Lucifer. The last person shoots lasers from the eyes, which is comparable in power and speed to Kazaru's laser rays. How can you dare to make an axe if you have a small skill? Lucifer raised his hand and pushed forward, Shenluo Tianzhang. The vast repulsion roared out, instantly destroying all incoming attacks. Whether it was the bloody sickle, the bone spur or the laser, they were all crushed and dissipated by the repulsive force. The miscellaneous soldiers are handed over to you, I will deal with these old guys. Leaving a word, Lucifer instantly disappeared in place. 
The next second, Lucifer appeared in front of the blood red Grimace agent and kicked him in the head. With a bang, the agent's head was kicked into pieces, and his body exploded, turning into blood flying all over the sky. However, he did not die, and the breath still existed. After condensing the entity, he waved his hands, and the blood scattered in the air immediately condensed into bloody sickles and shot at Lucifer. The agent who used the bone spurs also threw dozens of bone spurs at Lucifer. The sickle and the bone spur jointly attacked, and everything within a kilometer radius was blocked, and there was no place to dodge or hide. When Lucifer met the two, Enel glanced at the mask worker. Lightning erupted from his body, and his whole body turned into a bolt of lightning that shot at the three-eyed masked agent. Lightning and laser collided in midair causing a violent explosion. And Jack, Cavendish, Baby Five, and Gysa met the rest of the ordinary agents. Die, Lucifer. Accompanied by endless roars, countless bloody sickles and bone spurs rushed towards him. Lucifer is at the center of the attack, with murderous intent in all directions. He didn't change his face, just waved his hand lightly, disappear. As soon as the words fell, the countless bloody sickles and bone spurs that flew over immediately dissipated invisible. How is this possible? Impossible! Two exclamations sounded, revealing disbelief. Nothing is impossible. Lucifer raised his hand to point at Agent Bloody Grimace, and grabbed it, universal pull. A powerful gravitational force erupted, pulling the Bloody Grimace agent back immediately. Blade Storm. The space above Lucifer's head split open, and countless flying swords and long knives flew out, piercing through the Scarlet Grimace agent in an instant. His body exploded again, turning into blood all over the sky. But the offensive of the flying sword and long knife did not stop. Under the control of Lucifer, the endless flying sword and long knife seemed to be equipped with a tracker, and kept chasing and killing the scattered blood. Puff. 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 Under a series of strangulations, there was a burst of cries in the air. Several balls of blood condensed together, and the bloody grimace agent revealed his body. But at this moment, he was covered in cuts and bruises, drenched in blood, with a few blood holes on his body, and dense bones and internal organs could be vaguely seen. Logia Bloodfruit is indeed a good ability, but unfortunately you are too weak to be my opponent. With a big wave of Lucifer's hand, a flying sword was shot down from the sky. The flying sword is pitch black and covered with high-density armament hockey. Call out. With a flash of sword light, it pierced through Bloody Grimace Agent's neck in an instant. His head soared into the sky, and his headless body crashed to the ground. Ding. Host killed Agent Blood Eagle and got 110,000 killing points. Lucifer was right, this guy's strength was indeed comparable to that of Doflamingo, providing Lucifer with 110,000 kill points. Adding these 110,000, Lucifer's total kill points have reached 715,000. Lucifer pointed at the corpse of Agent Blood Eagle and grabbed it, rebirth. Soon, a blood red devil fruit with spiral patterns was reborn in Lucifer's hands. Logia Blood Fruit. This is the first time Lucifer has recycled Logia Devil Fruit. Logia fruits are extremely rare, and the power of each one cannot be underestimated. This blood eagle is not weak, and its fruit ability is also well developed. It's a pity that when I met Lucifer, all the abilities and moves were crushed, so I can't see how strong it is. It's like a husky and a wolf challenge a Tyrannosaurus Rex, both will be instantly killed. In the eyes of outsiders, the fighting power of wolves is no different from that of huskies, and they are all equally weak. Blood Eagle. The bone and skull mask agent roared in horror. The battle between Lucifer and the Blood Eagle seems to be a long process, but in fact it is only a short moment. In the blink of an eye, Agent Bloodhawk was tragically killed by Lucifer. Damn bastard, the old man will not let you go. The agent with the skull mask exploded with endless murderous aura, all the clothes on his body exploded, densely packed sharp bone spurs grew out of his body. The bone spurs pierced the air and flew to attack, and grew side branches on the way of flying. At a glance, Countless sharp and ferocious bone spurs make one's scalp tingle and goosebumps all over his body. Gravity crush. Lucifer's palm fell, and the infinite gravity field was opened immediately. Under the influence of gravity, the bone spurs shattered into dust one after another. Agent Bone and Skull was also shrouded in the gravity zone, slamming face down into the mud. His mask shattered, revealing a skinny old face with no blood in it. What are you trying to do at this old age? Isn't it good to retire early and go home to provide for the elderly? Do you have to come to die? It's better to go home to raise fish and plant flowers than to die. Lucifer shook his head, raised his finger, laser rays. Call out. The laser beam shot out, instantly piercing through the eyebrows of the agent in the bone and skull mask. There was a loud bang, 
the laser exploded, and the huge fireball engulfed the agent and burned it to ashes. Ding. Host kills the bone demon agent and gets 100,000 killing points. The system's prompt sounded, and it was another big harvest. Lucifer's kill points have reached 815,000. Rebirth. Lucifer grabs it with his big hand and captures the power of the reborn devil fruit. Soon, a devil fruit with a white body and sharp patterns like bones was reborn in Lucifer's hands. Paramecia bone fruit belongs to the top calendar in Paramecia. The harvest this time is really big. Lucifer was very satisfied. The corners of his mouth raised slightly unconsciously. When Lucifer killed two CP agents, Cavendish Wabel had already decided the winner. The group of black clothed agents is just a small group, and the cadres can't stop Cavendish, Wabel, and others. It was killed in two or three hits. Only Anil's battle has yet to be decided. Yeah, ha ha ha. All your companions are dead, and you are the only one left. Thunder and lightning flashed in the sky, and Enel laughed ferociously. Damn bastard Lucifer, did he defeat the Blood Eagle and the Bone Demon so quickly? The three eyed masked agent glanced at Lucifer in the distance, his heart beating wildly. No matter what, at least one cadre of the Nether Pirates must be killed. The eyes under the three eyed mask flashed a cold light, which turned into golden light and shot out, directly hitting the sky. The dark clouds in the sky were pierced, and so was the thunder and lightning. The endless lightning dissipated, and Enel's body appeared, with two blood holes in his abdomen. The three CP0 agent leaders who attacked this time are all extraordinary in strength, comparable to Dover Lang Mingyu. Despite Enel's strength, Armament Hockey's cultivation base is not enough to stop the ultimate move of the three eyed mask agent. Wabel, you go and help him. On the roof of a building, Lucifer gives orders. Yes, Captain Lucifer. As soon as the voice fell, Wabel shot out directly. He jumped into the air with a leap, and the Naganata slashed down angrily. The huge sword energy pierced through the air and hit the three eyed mask agent directly. Rumble. A seven story building was split in half by Wabel, and the ground beneath the building was also split. Wabel's slashing power comes not only from his sword skills and hockey, but also a large part from his natural power. Terrible physique, powerful hockey, top notch knife skills, and monster like strength finally created Wabel, a monster among monsters. His attacks are wide open and close, as if they can destroy everything. If you can't stop it with one knife, you will be smashed to pieces, and there will be no bones left. Call out. The three eyed masked agent is afraid to meet Wabel's slashing blow and uses Moonwalk and Shaved in the Sky to dodge quickly while firing a laser at Wabel. It's just that the lasers were all blocked by Wabel. At the same time, Anil in the Sky also launched an attack. In the dark clouds, the electric snake danced wildly, and three lightning dragons flew down, hitting the three-eyed masked agent. A violent explosion occurred in the town, the building was destroyed in an instant, the ground cracked, and a large pothole appeared. While the flames soared into the sky, they spread towards the surroundings. The battle here was too fierce, the residents and pirates on Ford Island had already hid far away, and they didn't even dare to stay and watch the battle. Do you died? Being attacked like this, this guy must be dead. It really deserves it, he 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 he. Behind Lucifer, Guy gloated and let out a shrill, maniacal laugh. The shoe prints on his face have not faded, and several teeth are missing in his mouth. These guys beat him so miserably, Guy saw Kay still holds a grudge. He's not dead yet. The chief agent of the CPO won't die so easily. Jack said with a smoke ring, Do you know these guys? Lucifer looks at Jack. Do not know. Jack shook his head, but I've heard of the names Blood Eagle and Bone Demon. These three should be the previous instructor and captain of the action team of the CPU. The three of them are all over 70 years old, logically speaking, they should have retired long ago. I don't know why I was sent out to perform the task this time. Backquote, it should be waste utilization. Lucifer sneered. He had already guessed the purpose of five elders sending these three people. As a tool, it will naturally be squeezed out of the last trace of use value. These three people are dark tools cultivated by the government of the world. Instead of letting them slowly die of old age, it is better to let them play the last sliver of value. Even if you can't kill Lucifer, it's worth it if you can kill one or two members of the Nether Pirates, or cause some trouble to Lucifer's voyage. At the same time, this also represents the attitude of the world government. Lucifer invaded the holy land of Mariajoy, causing huge casualties of celestial dragons, and the world government cannot remain indifferent. Five elders dispatched three powerful CP0 agents, which represented their attitude and could also save the face of the world government. Besides, there is one thing Lucifer doesn't know. That is five elders to give the celestial dragons family an explanation. 
sending Blood Eagle and Bone Demon to chase and kill Lucifer is the Five Elders' explanation to the Celestial Dragons family. What the Five Elders didn't know was that instead of causing trouble to Lucifer, they sent the three Blood Eagles to give Lucifer a big gift. After killing these three people, Lucifer can harvest several powerful devil fruits in addition to a large amount of killing points. This undoubtedly enhanced Lucifer's strength. Boom. During the explosion of the fireball, a figure shot out from it and hit a wall. It was a three-eyed masked agent. At this time, his whole body was tattered, half of his mask was broken and half of his face was missing, and his aura had weakened to the extreme. Under the mask is a face without any expression, insensitive, like a puppet. Even though he was seriously injured and on the verge of death, he didn't show any signs of pain or fear. What surprised Lucifer the most was that the agent's eyes were flashing with lightning, and his eyes were actually a pair of electronic eyes. I thought his Cyclops was a devil fruit ability, but I didn't expect it to be just a reformer. Lucifer shook his head, somewhat disappointed. If Cyclops is a devil fruit ability, then Lucifer can harvest a powerful devil fruit again. Boom. Wable fell from the sky, jumped to his side, and the Japanese knife slashed down. The agent with the three-eyed mask rolled five or six times on the ground, barely dodging the slash, but was hit flying by Enel who followed. The three-eyed masked agent turned into a cannonball and flew into the sky, spilling crimson blood along the way. It's time. It's time. The reason why Lucifer didn't take action to deal with him himself was because he wanted Enel to have a chance to fight against the strong. If Lucifer takes action himself, the three-eyed mask agent can be killed in seconds. Then Enel would lose one chance to fight against the strong. Presumably after this battle, Enel will grow up. As for the final beheading link, naturally Lucifer himself did it. Just kidding, an agent leader is worth at least 100,000 kill points, so it can't be wasted. Call out. A flash of light shot into the sky, instantly piercing through the head of the three-eyed masked agent. With a bang, the agent's head exploded and was engulfed by the exploding laser fireball. Ding. Host killed the magic eye of the agent and got 105,000 holy points. The value of the magic eye is 5,000 higher than that of the bone devil, and Lucifer's kill point has increased by a large amount again. Properties Panel. Host. Lucifer Age. 23. Devil Fruit. Word Spirit Fruit Physique. Hell Devil. Armament Hockey. Pinnacle Observation Hockey. Pinnacle. Conqueror's Hockey. Pinnacle Kill Points. 920000. Killing three powerful CPO agents, Lucifer's kill points have reached 920,000. It's only 80,000 away from 1 million. To buy the Conqueror's Hockey Field, you need 1 million kill points. As long as Lucifer asks the system to recover a few devil fruits, they will be able to get together soon. Call out. With a flash of lightning, Enel came back behind Lucifer, clutching his abdomen with his right hand, the blood had stopped. How is it? Are you alright? Not dead, still not dead. Enel shook his head. Although he was injured and embarrassed, his expression was very excited. Fierce battles can make him stronger, this sentence is not false. The first battle ended today, and Enel obviously felt that his armament hockey had improved. These old guys are not easy. It's pretty good that you can fight with them and lose both. Let's go. Get out of here first. Lucifer glanced at the dilapidated island and shook his head slightly. After a great battle, one third of Ford Island was destroyed. This is also one of the cruelties of the One Piece world. Without strength, even if you hide at home, you may suffer from unwarranted disasters. Especially in New World, most of the pirates here are terrifying. Once a battle breaks out, the destruction of houses and buildings is relatively light, and even the entire island will be shattered into pieces and sink into the sea in severe cases. If you want to survive in this cruel world, the only thing you can do is to continuously improve your strength. Lucifer left Ford Island with everyone, and the Erebus set sail again. On the deck, Baby Five is bandaging Enel's wound. Looks like it's time to go to a ship's doctor. The current preparation of the Nether Pirates is not perfect, and the ship doctor, snipers and navigators are all vacant. Navigator is irrelevant, anyway, Lucifer and others are strong, even if they encounter the devil climate of New World, they can calmly deal with it. And with Lucifer's ability, the Nether has a strong maneuverability and can go anywhere. Navigators are of little use, but ship doctors and snipers are still necessary, especially ship doctors. Some diseases in the sea are very terrible, and the One Piece Luogia is an example. Who would have thought that the majestic One Piece, the strongest in the world, would be defeated by a small disease? Although Lucifer can buy healing items from the system store, that would be a waste of killing points. Lucifer doesn't want to waste his hard-earned kill points unless it's life or death. 
There are a few people with excellent medical skills, but none of them are suitable to be ship doctors. As soon as he thought of the ship's doctor, several candidates automatically appeared in Lucifer's mind. The first one is of course Op Op Fruit Ability Luo. Luo, who has Op Op Fruit, has almost no injuries that he can't heal, and he has very good qualifications. If he is properly trained, he will also be a very good combat force in the future. It's just that Luo has not gone to sea yet, and is still fooling around in North Blue. Finding him is difficult and time consuming. The second one is Man Shueli, the little human princess. She is a Paramecia healing fruit capable person, no matter how many injuries she receives, she can use her ability to heal quickly. But the traces of the little people are hard to find. Last time Lucifer didn't find her in Dressrosa. Besides, apart from being stronger, Man Shueli has no fighting power and no value of cultivation. It is not suitable for such a person to be taken on board. I can only take one step at a time. I hope New World has doctors with excellent medical skills. Lucifer glanced at the sea ahead, turned and walked into the cabin. Lucifer sat on the bed, waved his hand, and seven devil fruits appeared on the table in front of him. They are ancient saber-toothed tiger fruit, transparent fruit, door-door fruit, string-string fruit, stone-stone fruit, blood-blood fruit and bone-bone fruit. These seven devil fruits are all very strong, it is a pity for the system to recover them, Lucifer hesitated for a while. Forget it. No matter how many devil fruits I have, I won't be able to use them myself. It's better to turn them into killing spots and use them to improve my strength. Your strength is the most important thing. Lucifer didn't hesitate any longer and turned on the system directly. System, recover string string fruit and bone bone fruit. Ding. The recovery of string string fruit and bone fruit is complete, and 80,000 holy points have been obtained. A golden light fell, and the string string fruit and bone fruit on the table disappeared without a trace, leaving no trace. After letting the system recover two fruits, Lucifer finally made up one million killing points. One million killing points, this is the first time I have such a huge sum of money. Lucifer looked at the killing point balance on the attribute panel, feeling a little emotional. After entering the new world, it is really different from the first half of the grand line. The speed of harvesting killing points is many times faster than before. If it were the first half of the grand line, it would be impossible for Lucifer to collect one million kill points in such a short period of time. Lucifer closed the properties panel, opened the system store, and gave instructions in his mind. System. Buy Conqueror's Hockey Field. Ding. The purchase of the Conqueror's Hockey Field was successful, and one million killing points were deducted, leaving the remaining killing points. The electronic sound of the system sounded, and an incomparably vast force suddenly broke out in Lucifer's body. The moment this power appeared, it immediately connected and fused with the original power deep inside Lucifer's body. That's Lucifer's Conqueror's Hockey. Lucifer's brain fell into a blank at this moment, and his consciousness seemed to fly thousands of miles away, and seemed to rush out of the planet. Looking down, the whole world is at his feet. At this moment, Lucifer is like a god overlooking the world, and everything in the world is under his control. However, before Lucifer saw the whole world clearly, Lucifer's consciousness returned to his body. Lucifer shuddered and shivered. His consciousness returned to reality, as if everything just now was an illusion. However, the changes in Lucifer's body are undeniable. Lucifer can feel the changes of Conqueror's hockey in his body, the reserves are already inexhaustible. As long as he has a thought, the Conqueror's hockey in his body will explode like a tsunami, sweeping in all directions. In an instant, Lucifer can construct his own Conqueror's hockey realm. In this field, he is absolutely invincible king. Enemies will be attacked by Conqueror's hockey all the time as long as they enter the field. Even a strong man who has experienced hundreds of battles and killed countless enemies will be hit by the conqueror's hockey, causing him to lose his will to fight and even fall into a coma. Those who are not physically strong will even be directly crushed into flesh by the conqueror's hockey field. To fight against Lucifer's conqueror's hockey field, only use conquerors as well. But if conqueror's hockey is not strong enough, it will be defeated by Lucifer's conqueror's field in an instant. It's so strong, it's too strong, it's impossible to describe it with just one strong word. Lucifer feels that he is very strong now, he doesn't pay attention to Marine Admiral, Four Emperors Pirates. Admiral and Four Emperors, that's all. Now it's interesting. Lucifer put away the Conqueror's hockey, which was about to burst out, and suppressed it in his body. Lucifer's control over Conqueror's hockey is already strong, so this time there is no hockey out of control. Properties Panel. Host. Lucifer Age, 23. Devil Fruit. Word Spirit Fruit Physique, Hell Devil. Armament Hockey. Pinnacle Observation Hockey, Pinnacle. Conqueror's Hockey. Domain Kill Points, 0A Big Consumption, 
Lucifer directly ran out of killing points. Now, Lucifer's killing point has been completely emptied into. It's time to find B-I-G-M-O-M. Lucifer closed the property panel, looked at the Tea Party invitation letter in his hand, and showed a sneer at the corner of his mouth. There are many hunting grounds in the world, and the lair of the Four Emperors Pirate Group is one of the biggest hunting grounds. Now that B-I-G-M-O-M has given him the ticket, Lucifer will certainly not miss this opportunity. Sakura Flower Island, a famous tourist attraction in the New World. The climate of this island is very peculiar, and the four regions of the island are in the four seasons of spring, summer, autumn and winter. On the four areas of Sakura Hanashima, four seasons Sakura flowers bloom all year round. The name of Sakura Flower Island also comes from this. Ah. This island is really big. The nether was docked at the summer port of Sakura Flower Island. Cavendish stood on the bow and looked at the Sakura Flower Island ahead, and couldn't help sighing. Lucifer and others are going to the Sea of Nations to participate in the tea party, and this time they are docking at Sakura Flower Island to supply supplies. Sakura Flower Island is a famous scenic island in the New World. It is said that more than 300 million tourists come here every year. Jack stood aside, smoking a cigarette and said. Three billion people? Are there so many? Cavendish was taken aback, somewhat disbelieving. Who knows? No one will actually count anyway. Even if it's fake, no one will care. Jack spread his hands and said casually. Makes sense. In this way, the nether docked at the port, and Lucifer brought Cavendish, Wable, Baby Five and Guy into the flower island town of Sakura. Enel and Jack stayed on board to watch the ship. Sakura Flower Island was indeed as lively as the rumors said, the streets and alleys in the town were full of people, very lively. The shops and stalls on both sides of the street are doing very well. The whole island is full of happiness, which is completely different from the islands Lucifer usually sees. I didn't expect that there would be such a peaceful island in New World, it's really rare. It has been almost a year since Lucifer came to One Piece World, he has been to many countries and seen many islands. But those places are all filled with poverty, despair, and numbness. No matter how prosperous the country is, beggars and poor people can be seen in the towns under the rule. Robbery, killing, and death fights are commonplace. Lawbreakers headed by pirates ran amok in these countries and islands, burning, killing and looting. The life of the residents is precarious and trembling. Everything Lucifer sees and hears tells Lucifer how cruel the world really is. But today when he landed on Sakura Flower Island, Lucifer saw a different island. On this island, there are no beggars in poverty, nor violence and killing. Some vicious pirates don't dare to be presumptuous here, they obediently pay for everything they buy, and they don't dare to eat overlord meal when they eat. Whose territory is this island? It has such a great deterrent power. It can suppress these pirates. Lucifer felt a little curious, but soon, Lucifer's doubts were answered. On the central tower of the shopping street, Lucifer saw a pirate flag fluttering in the wind, with the white beard logo on it. When the residents on the island saw the flag, they had heartfelt smiles of gratitude on their faces. When the surrounding pirates and criminals saw this flag, they showed deep fear. No wonder Sakura Flower Island is so peaceful, it turns out that this is Whitebeard's territory. Whitebeard's deterrence is the best in the world, so naturally no one dares to act wildly on his territory. However, an island ruled by pirates is safer and happier than an island guarded by naval headquarters. I have to say that this is really a big irony. Under the rule of marine, which symbolizes justice, pirates do all kinds of evil, and the residents suffer from poverty and disease, and are oppressed by marine and celestial dragons. Pirates, which symbolize evil, bring safety and happiness to civilians instead. Who is justice? Who is evil? Lucifer couldn't think of an answer, and no one could answer the question. There are moths in the righteous marine, and most of them are evil. Justice and evil are intertwined and cannot be completely separated. Maybe Doflamingo's answer is the best, only the winner is justice. Lucifer led people to buy supplies in the shopping street. Sakura Flower Island is very large, rich in products, and the unique food makes people linger. There is also a flower street, which is a holy place for many pirates. Captain, let's go shopping in Flower Street. Flower Street is very interesting, guaranteed to make you linger. Guy looked at Waji, his expression had changed to Brother Jews. That look is so obscene, Lucifer wants to beat him up. What nonsense are you talking about? That's not you, Captain, bastard. Baby Five was furious and kicked Guy to the ground. Guy Savas immediately had a big bump on his head. Hey, what are you doing? Baby Five. You, a woman, don't understand the romance of men at all. What did you say? Well, Sivas. Who is a lecherous gas, you hot-tempered woman, no man will want you. 
Gaisa and Baby Five got into a quarrel. Lucifer ignored the two of them. He glanced at the flower street in front of him, and there were many smiling young ladies standing in front of the izakaya of every pink shop. The ladies also noticed the existence of Lucifer, a handsome guy, and all winked at him. Good. What's good? Captain. Cavendish asked quietly. Lucifer said with a serious face, I mean these beauties have very good hearts, they are all kind, and they are willing to give everything to comfort those travelers who are hurting their hearts. These beauties are so selfless and earn so little money, it's so unfair to them. So. Cavendish stared at Lucifer with a pair of dead fish eyes, waiting for his next words. So I think it is necessary for me to save them once. Oh, it's so rare to see someone as kind, generous and self-sacrificing as I am. After finishing speaking, Lucifer walked directly towards Flower Street, and at the same time there was a voice, Guy Sarah, Cavendish, come with me to save the girls who have lost their way. They need our unselfish love. Yes, Captain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cavendish and Guy quickly followed behind Lucifer, and the three of them walked towards the depths of Flower Street together. Captain, this is Flower Street, you. Baby Five turned pale with shock, as if he saw a ghost. Is this the same demon captain she knew? Baby Five, you don't understand, this is also the cultivation of sailing travel. Lucifer turned his head and said to Baby Five seriously, in order to maintain a firm belief and hone the will, this kind of practice is essential. You take Wabel to buy supplies first, I won't be coming back tonight, I want to concentrate on cultivation. After speaking, he took Cavendish and Guy directly into a pink izakaya. Baby Five looked at the back of the three of Lucifer who disappeared, and was stunned, I haven't recovered for a while. Cultivation? Hone the will? Is there such a practice method? It's the first time I've heard of it, as expected of the captain. I'm so impressed. What the hell? He obviously wanted to go shopping in Waji, but he still talked about cultivation and tempering his will. Too deceiving. Baby Five feels that today's Lucifer is different from usual, it is completely two people as usual. This is not the resolute and decisive bloodthirsty demon she knew. Baby Five. What is Captain Lucifer going to do? Why don't you take me? Weebill asked with a runny nose. He's out of his mind, he can't understand what Lucifer said just now, and he can't understand his behavior. He only felt that Captain Lucifer's behavior was very meaningful and hidden, and it was worth his experience and learning. You don't need to know, and don't learn from the three of them. Men are all the same. Baby Five cursed a few words, and left Waji with Weibel. Although dissatisfied that the three of Lucifer left them to have fun on their own, Baby Five still has to follow Lucifer's order to buy supplies. The position of the fighting maid, Baby Five is very clear. Entering the izakaya, countless young ladies immediately surrounded me. Looking at Lucifer and Cavendish, there are little love spoons in their eyes. Entering the izakaya, countless young ladies immediately surrounded me. Looking at Lucifer and Cavendish, there are little hearts in their eyes. There is no way, Lucifer and Cavendish are handsome guys who are one in a million, with good temperament, good figure, good looks, and extraordinary extravagance. No beauty can resist such beauty. As for Guy, it's poor. No way, who made him look so wretched? Not only do they have goat-like horns on their heads, but they also have pig-like expressions on their faces, not at all as calm and calm as Lucifer and Cavendish are trapped in flowers. Looking at Lucifer and Cavendish surrounded by beauties, Guy gritted his teeth and was going crazy with jealousy. Looks amazing, huh? How rich is it? Lucifer just wants to say that being rich is really amazing. He is not only rich, but also good-looking destined to be the envy and hatred of countless men. That night, Lucifer used his gentleness, kindness, handsomeness and wealth to save countless young ladies who were hurt in their hearts. Let them feel the beauty of this world. When Lucifer left, all these young ladies became rich wives without exception. Lucifer 453 is very generous, he spends money like a king. When he left, the proprietress of the Ezekiah almost knelt down and begged him to stay. Such a handsome, generous and rich man. I have never met a man in ten years. It's a pity to go. Unfortunately, Lucifer has a big heart, and he won't be bound by a girl somewhere. The vast sea is his destination. Hey Guy, what's the matter with you? Twisting your waist. Lucifer looked at Guy who was walking against the wall, and shook his head. You can't do it, your body is so weak, you need to hurry up and exercise. That's right, Guy. You have to learn from me and the captain. Only by exercising hard at ordinary times, will you not be weak in battle. Cavendish tidied up his hairstyle with a proud face. Are you kidding me, is this uncle going to lie? I didn't try my best at all. Okay. Even if it's one more time, my uncle, I. Halfway through the conversation, it stopped abruptly. Guy shivered, 
his legs were weak and cramped. Okay, I haven't rested after practicing all night, I should go back and take a break from the rain. Although this kind of practice is tiring, it is good for training willpower, and we must try it a few more times in the future. Captain Lucifer is right, and I feel the same way. Cavendish nodded repeatedly. Okay, it's time to go back, Baby Five and Enel should have been waiting for a long time. Lucifer tidied up the gorgeous robe and said seriously. Boom. 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 Just as Lucifer and the others left Flower Street for the port, a burst of artillery bombardment suddenly came from a distance. Pirate. The pirate is coming. There's a fight between pirates. Run away. Residents on the street fled in panic. Panic spread on the island, and soon spread to Waji. Residents on Waji also turned into birds and beasts and fled in all directions. Many girls immediately hid in the izakaya, closed the door, and dared not stay on the street anymore. Hey, hey, isn't this Whitebeard's territory? There are pirates who dare to make trouble here? Cavendish looked at the crowd fleeing in a panic around him, a little surprised. Lucifer showed a playful smile, it's interesting now, go and have a look. The wings of the devil unfolded, and Lucifer soared into the sky, turning into a black shadow and shooting towards the port of Sakura Flower Island. Captain, wait for us. Cavendish immediately caught up, but he stopped after taking two steps. Looking back, he found that Guy was still holding on to the wall and panting there. Hey, is it okay for Guy to spoil you, I'm going to leave you. Okay, why not, my uncle is a real man. Guy's dignity was challenged, and he stood up straight with his chest straight. But in the next second, his face changed, you go first. I suddenly remembered that I left my wallet at the izakaya, and I have to go find it. Cavendish. He stared at a pair of dead fish eyes, looking at Guy as if he was looking at a fool. Are you f asterisk king kidding me? You left your wallet at the izakaya. What an excuse. Even a three-year-old would not believe this excuse. I really admire you. Cavendish shook his head, teleported to Gaisa, grabbed him and rushed towards the port. There was also a sentence in the air, I really put my wallet in the izakaya, I really deserve it. Lucifer was very fast, and arrived at the port of Sakura Island in less than a minute from Flower Street. The nether is docked on the shore. Call. A gust of wind whizzed by, and Lucifer landed on the mast of the Nerus. Enel was sitting on the mast, and he was eating an apple, watching the show while eating. Baby Five. Wablejack and others also stood at the bow, watching the battle at sea in the distance. Ah? The captain is back? Jack sees Lucifer, and flashes a meaningful smile. Captain. You are not kind, you didn't take us with you in yesterday's practice. We also want to become stronger. That's right, next time you have this kind of cultivation, you must bring us with you. Enel agrees with Jack. Okay, there are opportunities to exercise, let's talk about the current situation first. Lucifer waved his hand and looked towards the sea ahead. As soon as he came to the port, he had already seen two fighting pirate ships. Two pirate ships, one behind the other, are firing at each other. The pirate ship fleeing ahead was a little damaged and was traveling very slowly. The pirate ship chasing behind is faster, and the distance between the two sides is rapidly approaching. Among them, the logo of the pirate ship in the rear is very conspicuous. It was a skull with horns, pierced by three white bones at the same time. Lucifer recognized it immediately, it was the symbol of the four emperor's beasts pirates. I said who would have the courage to act wildly in Whitebeard's territory, it turned out to be Kaido's people. Kaido acts impulsively, has a violent personality, and is fearless, so his subordinates also have the same personality. Acting recklessly, a word is dry. Also of the four emperors, the beast's pirates had no qualms about Whitebeard's threat. It would all make sense if Kaido's minions were messing around here. Boom. 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 The two pirate ships bombarded each other, and the ships on both sides suffered damage. Several of the shells missed and landed on the port, blowing up several houses into ruins. Beast's pirates have stronger artillery fire, but it's not clear who will win this battle. Lucifer turned on observation hockey, locking the breath of all pirates on both sides. Boom. With a gunshot, a pirate on the beast's pirate ship was headshot and fell to the ground. This is already the 21st. Lucifer looked at the snipers on the pirate ship and muttered to himself. It's been less than a minute since Lucifer arrived at the port. But the sniper fired 21 shots in a row shot to the head, and killed twenty-one beasts pirates in a row. You know, the distance between the two ships is more than two thousand meters, and the pirate ship is still sailing on the sea, the chassis is unstable. In addition, Lucifer's observation hockey also sensed that the sniper was seriously injured. In this case, he can still shoot headshots continuously, which shows that his marksmanship is accurate. This sniper is not bad. 
Lucifer's eyes lit up. The battle between the two sides continued, there was a shout of killing from the beast's pirate ship, and the artillery fire became more intense. Damn bastard, hurry up, he's badly injured and he's going to die soon. Must kill him. As if enraged by the prey, a group of hunters chased the prey faster. Boom. 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 After a series of bombardments, the hunted pirate ship was finally sunk by the artillery fire and turned into a sea of flames. But in the sea of flames, a figure jumped out. He walked in the air and in the air. Although his figure was a little staggered, he finally landed on the shore. When it landed, the sniper spat out a mouthful of blood. He clutched his chest, his breathing was disordered, and he was obviously seriously injured. But this person did not beg for mercy, nor did he give up the chance to survive, but was still looking for an opportunity to kill the hunter. Boom. There was another gunshot, and another person on the pirate ship behind was shot in the head and fell in a pool of blood. Sharp. In a state where he was seriously injured, his footsteps were unstable, and his hand holding the gun was unstable, he was still able to shoot so accurately, and shot his head with a gun, which shows that his sniper skills are very powerful. If it was the heyday, his sniping skills would be even stronger. Call out. At this moment, a black shadow came from the sky, landed on the shore, and instantly killed the sniper. A cold light lit up, and the vacuum slashed vertically and horizontally, cutting off the three buildings in the port immediately. P.S. Adding more updates today, please readers to vote for some flowers and favorites. If possible, please give the author a little pocket money. Guaranteed 8 changes, the specific number depends on the reader's reaction. Call out. A cold light lit up, and the vacuum slashed vertically and horizontally, cutting off the three buildings in the port immediately. The sniper dodged the slash and kicked the enemy away with a kick. Raise the gun, aim, and shoot at the same time, all actions are done in one go. As soon as the gunshot rang out, the head of the iron slaying swordsman exploded, turning into blood and flesh splattering all over the sky. At this moment, the identities of prey and hunter seem to have changed. An iron slashing swordsman who can use hockey is as weak as an ant in front of a seriously injured sniper. Instantly killed. Oh? This guy's hockey is pretty good too. Enel also saw the strength of this man. Being able to avoid Zon Tai Jianao's sneak attack in time proves that he has observation hockey. Can break the armament hockey defense of Iron Swordsman and headshot him, proving that he also has armament hockey. A top sniper who can use two color hockey is very rare. It's really good, and it seems to be worth attracting at present. Lucifer's ship also lacks a ship doctor and a sniper, these are scarce talents. It's hard to find a ship's doctor, and it's even harder to find a sniper. Powerful snipers are all born, they must be talented. Without talent, you will never become a top sniper if you practice hard the day after tomorrow. But the one delivered to the door now really caught Lucifer's eyes. Bang. 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 There was another gunshot, this time he fired three shots in a row, instantly killing a pirate. With the continuous sniping, more than half of the pirates chasing him had been lost. And this happened in just two or three minutes. Finally, the pirate ship chasing behind also docked. Hundreds of pirates rushed down the pirate ship and headed towards the sniper. But as the snipers fought and retreated, more than a hundred pirates were quickly killed and only half remained. Even the pirates who led the team couldn't stop the sniper's shot, and they were directly pierced by the bullets. Guns were originally the most useless weapons in the world of One Piece, but in the hands of the real strong, they are the most terrifying weapons. The remaining dozens of pirates were terrified of being beaten, and began to retreat, fleeing in a panic. It's really stupid. Lucifer shook his head slightly. Enel also understood what Lucifer meant. In front of a top sniper, showing your back to him is no different from courting death. As Lucifer expected, the sniper stopped and stood there, shooting continuously. At this time, these fleeing pirates are living targets, and they can only wait for him to call them one by one. Bang. 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 Gunshots continued to ring out, and each pirate was headshot and fell into a pool of blood. Soon, all the pirates died under his gun. This man, each with a gun, wiped out a 200-man squad of beasts pirates in a seriously injured state. Cough cough cough. After killing all the pursuers, the unknown sniper immediately coughed up a mouthful of blood, staggered and almost fell to the ground. Still using the sniper rifle to support the ground, it didn't fall down. He was seriously injured, and continued to fight, losing a lot of blood and expending a lot of energy. Being able to maintain consciousness at this moment is already considered a monster. Crack. 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 Suddenly, a burst of applause sounded. Who is it? When the sniper heard the applause, he immediately became alert and raised his gun to shoot backwards. Bang. 
a bullet was shot precisely between Lucifer's eyebrows. Lucifer raised his hand to catch it, and directly clamped the bullet between his fingers with two fingers. Nice hockey. Lucifer smiled slightly. As soon as the finger was loosened, the bullet fell to the ground. You are. Dot the demon Lucifer. The sniper's eyes widened, apparently recognizing Lucifer's identity. He took a few steps backwards without a trace, holding the sniper rifle tightly in both hands, ready to shoot and run away at any time. Lucifer's vicious name is now world famous, and no one is not afraid. Those who dare to kill beasts pirates, you are not small. Lucifer smiled slightly, it's none of your business. The mysterious sniper had a hoarse voice, exuding a strong killing intent. It's really none of my business. Lucifer shook his head and smiled, I'm just interested in you. White Shinigami Simon Hey, I guess I'm not mistaken? Lucifer looked at the mysterious sniper and said calmly. Ah, yes, it's me. The sniper frankly admitted his identity. It's really embarrassing. Who would have thought that the famous white Shinigami would be reduced to such a miserable state? You don't look like a white Shinigami, you just look like a stray dog. Simon Hay, a well-known sniper in New World, nicknamed White Shinigami. He is the captain of the Shinigami Pirates, there is a bounty of 335 million baileys. It is said that Simon Hay can shoot a mosquito between the eyebrows 2,000 meters away, and his sniping skills are very terrifying. Many pirates who encountered white shinigami on the sea were killed by headshots without even seeing the enemy anywhere. I don't know where this guy provoked Kaido, and he was hunted down so miserably. If Lucifer is not mistaken, the ship that was blown up just now is the main ship of the shinigami pirates. Looking at the situation, the shinigami pirates were all dead, and only Simon Hay, who was seriously injured, survived. It seems that your life is very hard, and you survived. But if you provoke Kaido, there is no place for you in New World. Even if you escape today, the next wave of pursuers will arrive soon. If I'm not mistaken, those people just now are just soldiers from the beast's pirates, and the real monsters are yet to come. Lucifer looked at Simon High and said lightly. Yeah, my poor life is really hard, but my crew is dead. But they want to kill me, it's not that simple. Simon High laughed at himself, holding the sniper rifle tightly in his hand, obviously extremely unwilling and angry. The entire Shinigami pirate group was wiped out and he was the only captain who barely survived, and was still hunted down by beasts pirates all over the world. This famous white Shinigami seems to have lost everything at the moment. But the man who has lost everything is also the scariest, because he has nothing left to lose. Such a person will completely turn into a mad dog, fighting to the death with the beasts pirates. Although it's useless. After all, his opponent is Kaido, the four emperors standing at the top of the pirate pyramid. Although Simon's strength is good, but relying on himself, he can't kill Kaido in this life. Would you like to come to my boat? Lucifer spoke suddenly. What? Simon High was taken aback for a moment, but soon, his eyes radiated infinite light. Without any hesitation, he ran towards Lucifer with his seriously injured body, bent his knees, and knelt down in front of Lucifer. Please, I beg you, please avenge me. I am willing to give everything, even the price of my life. Before Lucifer could answer, Simon High kowtowed to Lucifer continuously. He kowtowed very sincerely, but after a few bangs, the skin on his forehead was already broken. At the same time, his violent movements also pulled the wound on his body, blood flowed from his chest, and soon formed a small blood under his feet. But Simon High didn't seem to feel the pain, and kept kowtow. At this moment, Lucifer is the last straw he can grasp. Even if he gave up all his ambitions and all his dignity, Simon High would still hold on tightly. Enel looked at this humble man like dust, and rarely laughed. Originally, this kind of guy who has no dignity and begs for mercy is the type he hates the most. But at this moment, he couldn't hate Simon High. Cavendish, Baby Five and others who came in a hurry also watched quietly, no one looked down on this begging man. After all, he did not give up his dignity for the sake of surviving, but for revenge. Get up first, and you will die if you knock down again. Lucifer hooked his fingers and pulled Simon High up. His lips were pale, and there was no blood on his face, which was a symptom of excessive blood loss. Baby Five, treat him, don't let him die. Lucifer gave the order. Yes, Captain Lucifer. Baby Five hurried over, carried Simon High aboard the nether, and gave him emergency treatment. Captain, this guy offended Kaido, are we really going to let him aboard? Cavendish came to Lucifer's side and asked Chi Chi. What about Kaido? Others are afraid of him, but I am not. What about Kaido? Others are afraid of him, but I am not. Lucifer shook his head indifferently, calmly. Simon High is a rare top sniper, just the kind of talent that the nether pirates are currently lacking. 
Now that we met, it is natural to have it in the bag. As for Kaido, Lucifer has always been the target of hunting. Even if Simon Hay is not recruited, Lucifer will face Kaido sooner or later. Let's go. Get out of here first. The nether set sail again, slowly sailed away from the port, and soon disappeared into the boundless sea. Less than half an hour after Lucifer left, a pirate ship arrived at Sakura Flower Island. The flag of the Whitebeard Pirates is hoisted on the pirate ship. Sakura Flower Island is the site of the Whitebeard Pirates, and if someone makes trouble here, the Whitebeard Pirates cannot remain indifferent. Otherwise, the majesty of the Whitebeard Pirates would be gone. At that time, what cats and dogs dare to act wildly in the territory of the Whitebeard Pirates, so what are they for emperors? Foil Vista, the captain of the 5th Division of the Whitebeard Pirates, stepped down from the boat. This time he led the investigation of the Sakura Flower Island incident. The process of the matter was very simple, and the troublemaker was also famous, so Bista investigated everything clearly without any effort. It's just that this incident involves Kaido of the Beasts and the demon Lucifer, and it's not up to Beast to decide, he can only report the news to Whitebeard. Hey, Dad, it's me, Vista. Vista took out the phone bug and connected, and the snail transformed into Whitebeard. Gu la 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 la, it's Vista, has everything been investigated? Which bastard dares to act wildly in Lousy's territory? Whitebeard was rarely annoyed, after all, such a thing hadn't happened for a long time. The investigation is clear. The reason is that the Beast's pirates hunted down the Shinigami pirates. The two sides fought and spread to Sakura Flower Island. Sakura Flower Island has residents' casualties and building damage, but not very serious. Almost all the warring parties were dead. The Shinigami pirates were all wiped out. Only the Captain Simon Hire killed all the Beast's pirates chasing him and escaped successfully he was finally taken away by the demon Lucifer. What happened was very simple, and Bista even wanted to say, let's just forget about it. After all, the troublemakers are almost dead. It is also impossible for the Whitebeard pirates to fight the Beast's pirates because of this incident. Is that so? Everyone is dead. Whitebeard was silent for a moment, then suddenly asked, who are you talking about? Was taken away by the demon Lucifer. That kid Lucifer was also involved in this incident? Whitebeard didn't know anything about Simon Hay such a small role he saw and then forgot. Lucifer, he did remember clearly. After all, this is a werewolf who single-handedly bulldozed the holy land of Mariajoy. No. According to eyewitnesses, Lucifer was watching the fight and took Simon Hay away after the fight. Simon Hay was seriously injured and almost died. Someone saw him kneeling and kowtowing to Lucifer, he should be taken into the nether pirates by Lucifer. Although he didn't see what happened with his own eyes, Bista can roughly infer the situation at that time based on what the eyewitnesses said. Is that so? You come back first. Whitebeard paused, giving the order. Father, then we. Of course I went to find trouble with that kid Kaido, dare to make trouble on Lousy's territory, Ion can't let him off so easily. It just happened that I haven't shot for a while, and my body will be stiff if I rest again. Gu la 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 la. Whitebeard's hearty laugh came from the phone bug. Only looking for Kaido? What about Simon Hay? What do you care about that kid whose pirate group was wiped out? If the Shinigami pirates still exist, Whitebeard might send someone to teach them a lesson. But now that the Shinigami pirates have been completely wiped out, with Whitebeard's spirit, it's not enough to find trouble with a down and out pirate captain. Okay, I see, Dad. After Bista finished speaking, he cut off the phone bug. Soon he left Sakura Flower Island with people. After that, the six pirate groups under the Whitebeard Pirates teamed up to invade the territory of the Beast's Pirates and seized two islands under Kaido's command. The forces under the command of the two sides fought a battle, each with casualties, which can be regarded as temporarily quelling the incident. This Sakura Flower Island incident, whether it is big or small, it is enough for the Whitebeard Pirates to show their majesty, it is impossible to really fight Kaido. Kaido also knows this truth, and he didn't take it seriously with the Whitebeard Pirates, and the two sides stopped. Of course, these are things for later. After the Sakura Flower Island incident, the Beast's pirates pursued Simon Hay. Boom. 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 In a sea area, two pirate ships flying the flag of Beast's pirates are chasing behind the nether. The artillery fired continuously, firing hundreds of shells towards the nether. It was the second day after Lucifer left Sakura Island, and in just one day, the pursuers of the Beast's pirates arrived. How on earth did this guy provoke Kaido and make them chase him so hard? Cavendish looked at the pirates behind, and then at the unconscious Simon Hay, a little speechless. Why do you care so much? Kill as many chasing soldiers as possible, just as I haven't done anything for a while. Since buying Conqueror's hockey field, 
Lucifer's kill point hasn't increased in a long time. Seeing only 23,000 kill points, Lucifer was uncomfortable. Laser rays. Lucifer raised his hand and pointed. Two laser rays shot out, instantly hitting the two pirate ships behind. Rumble. Two pirate ships exploded, and two huge fireballs appeared on the sea. Gunpowder smoke filled the air, water vapor flew, and hundreds of pirates on board were engulfed in the sea of flames in an instant. They couldn't even scream, and their bones were gone. Hey, hey, Captain, you are too fast, you have to leave some for us no matter what. Yeah, it seems that we crew members are very incompetent. Enel Cavendish looked helplessly at the pirate ship sinking into the sea in the distance. The captain is too strong, and they have nothing to do with them once they make a move. If this goes on, they'll all be bored. Just wait, you will have a chance to make a move soon. Lucifer smiled faintly, listening to the prompt sound in his head. Ding. Host killed the pirates and got 8,500 killing points. Ding. Host killed the pirates and got 2,700 killing points. Ding. Host killed the pirate soldiers and got 1,400 holy points. Ding. Host kills pirates and gets 900 killing points. In this wave, Lucifer gained a total of 17,000 killing points. After this harvest, Lucifer's total kill points came to 40,000 points. Properties Panel. Host. Lucifer Age, 23. Devil Fruit. Word Spirit Fruit Physique, Hell Devil. Armament Hockey. Pinnacle Observation Hockey, Pinnacle. Conqueror's Hockey. Domain Kill Points, 4000. A group of miscellaneous fish is really cheap. Lucifer shook his head, somewhat dissatisfied with such a gain. These chasing soldiers were all beasts pirates miscellaneous soldiers, and only the squad leader headed by them had some strength, with barely a few thousand killing points. The rest are trash fish among trash fish, and each one is worth one to two thousand or even hundreds of killing points. No matter how many miscellaneous fish kills like this, it is not enough. Just then, Simon woke up. His whole body was covered with bandages, almost wrapped into a rice dumpling. After this incident, the importance of ship doctors became more apparent. Baby 5 can only do some of the simplest bandaging methods, which can't make Simon's injury heal quickly. This is just a trauma, if it is a virus or an internal disease, everyone will be helpless and can only wait to die. It seems that we really need to find a ship doctor quickly. Yes, the ship's doctor is very important. Everyone knows the truth, but it is not easy to find a good ship doctor. Cavendish and Jack argue with each other. People who study medicine are high-end talents in any world. These people have high wages and a good life, so why would they come out to be pirates? Just wait a little longer, the ship doctor will be there sooner or later. At present, we should solve the problem of chasing soldiers first, so it is not too important to be chased and killed all the time. Lucifer looked at Simon and asked, How on earth did you provoke Kaido and make him want to kill you so much? Because of a devil fruit. Simon gritted his teeth and said, Devil fruit? Is it Zone? It must be Zone who can make Kaido go all out to find Simon, and even go all over the world to hunt down Simon, and it's not an ordinary Zone. That's right, it's an ancient Zone, but I don't know exactly what kind of ability it is. But I know from the pursuers that Kaido really wants that devil fruit. What about the fruit? Where is it now? Cavendish hurriedly asked. A Zone ancient species devil fruit is very precious, and its ability is also top notch. It's not in my hands, I just got a treasure map, which records the location of the treasure. It also said that in addition to gold and silver treasures, there is also an ancient devil fruit in the treasure. I just don't know why Kaido knew the news and ambushed us halfway. As a result, as you know, the Shinigami pirates suffered a disastrous defeat, all members were killed, and I was the only one who survived. Simon shook his head, with a hint of bitterness in the corner of his mouth. If I had known that this devil fruit would bring their Shinigami pirates to this end, it would be better to hand over the treasure map. After all, this is just a treasure map, whether the treasure exists or not is another matter. Hey, 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 there should be a mole on board. Suddenly, Guy let out a shrill laugh, a little gloating. Impossible, how could there be a traitor on my boat? Simon's face changed drastically, and he immediately yelled at Guy. The movement was too big and almost tore the wound, making him clutch his chest involuntarily. Simon's crew members were all dead, and he didn't want to be insulted after they were dead. Ha 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 ha, how do you explain that Kaido knows the existence of the treasure map? Guy sputtered a word, which left Simon speechless. Indeed, as Gaisa said, the existence of the treasure map is known only to the Shinigami pirates. And only the cadres know, and even ordinary crew members know nothing about it. This news should be top secret, but it was known by Kaido, and they made an ambush on the island pointed to by the treasure map in advance 
waiting for the Shinigami pirates to throw themselves into the trap. There is no second possibility for all this except for the traitor to tip off the news. But my crew members are all dead, and I am the only one alive. If there is a traitor, who is he? Simon still didn't want to believe that his companion had betrayed him. Ha 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 ha. What's so strange about this? Of course he was killed by Kaido's men. Guy waved his hand and smiled mockingly. Pirates will betray each other, let alone Luo. The traitor has been squeezed out of the last trace of value, and Kaido certainly doesn't care about his life. This is the cruelty of the pirate world, he 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 he. Guy turned into gas and flew in the air, making piercing laughter. Oh? All pirates will betray? Who told you this sentence? You seem to have a lot of experience in betrayal? Lucifer looked at Guy and smiled half smile. Guy gave a heartbeat, and quickly fell back on the deck, laughing twice. How can there be? Captain Lucifer, you misunderstood, I will never betray you, Captain. Shish. Being stared at by Lucifer, Guy sweated coldly, fearing that Lucifer would beat him up in the next second. He knew that with Lucifer's character, he could definitely do it. Hasty, should not have said these words just now. I almost forgot, the captain hates nothing more than betrayal. If the captain misunderstands that I want to betray him, then I will die. How to do how to do? Guy now regrets to death, regretting that he shouldn't be so cheap. Guy Sarah, you'd better remember what you said today, anyone who dares to betray will end up miserable. I'm talking about misery, which is the kind you can't imagine. Lucifer glanced at Guy, a dangerous gleam in his pupils. Yes yes yes, Captain Lucifer, we are here. Guy's heart beat wildly, and he could only laugh to hide the fear in his heart. Yaha ha ha ha, don't worry, Captain Lucifer, whoever dares to betray the nether pirates, I will take care of him without your help. Enel laughed ferociously, reached out and patted Guy on the shoulder. An electric current mixed with armament hockey rushed to Guy's body, making his hair stand on end again. Okay. What are you talking about when everyone is dead? Back to Devil Fruit, shall we? Do you still have the treasure map with you? Lucifer looked at Simon and asked. A zone ancient seed Devil Fruit came to the door, Lucifer certainly would not let it go. If the beast's pirates haven't got it yet, Lucifer still has a chance. Bring it. I keep the treasure map close to me all the time, it's on me. With that said, Simon took out a treasure map from his crotch. The treasure map is dilapidated and yellowed, and it looks old. Hey. Where did you put the camel treasure map? Seeing Simon's actions, Cavendish, Enel and others immediately roared, showing their fangs. Who taught you this? Don't those who hide things in their crotch feel panicked? Lucifer was also speechless. The people around Jack, Wabel and Baby Five are also somewhat disgusted. Baby Five finally knew why she didn't see the treasure map when she bandaged Simon's wound. It turned out to be hidden in her crotch. What kind of habit is this? Who taught him? Lucifer didn't know how to complain. Suddenly he remembered that in the original book, Luffy also likes to hide things in his crotch. Luffy once pulled an octopus out of his crotch when coming down from Sky Island. I really don't know how he stuffed the octopus in, isn't he afraid that the octopus will entangle his vital parts? Or is he a rubber, stretchable, so he is not afraid of being entangled? Without a treasure map, can the people of the beast's pirates find where the treasure is buried? Asked Lucifer. It shouldn't be possible, otherwise they wouldn't have to chase us down. Simon shook his head. That's good, let's set sail and go digging for treasure. Lucifer gave the order. Since going to sea as a pirate, Lucifer has been hunting, and has never looked for treasure. In fact, think about it, treasure hunting is what pirates like to do most. After all, the reason why the era of great pirates will start is because of the great secret treasure left by Luo Jia. Since the beginning of the great pirate era, countless treasure maps have appeared. Many of them were left by the big pirates of the old era and some were treasures left by the pirates before they were caught, and they were reserved for their comeback. There are many treasures in the vast sea waiting for countless pirates to discover. Fanlin Carl, a famous uninhabited island in New World. The reason why it is famous here is because its environment is extremely harsh. There are more than 20 volcanoes all over the island, and many powerful beasts live there. Even a pirate with a reward of over 100 million cannot survive here. After a long time, he must die under the sharp claws and fangs of the beast. In the fringe area of Fanlin Carl, a group of pirates is stationed here, and several pirate ships are docked beside it. The flags of Kaido of the Beasts fluttered in the wind, hunting, telling the world who these pirates were. Boom. There was a loud noise in the camp, and a pirate was blown away, his chest was sunken, he vomited blood, obviously he couldn't survive. Trash. Are you all a bunch of trash? Can't even catch a badly injured guy? What are you doing? 
Is that even beasts pirates? A man with a height of more than eight meters, a strong physique, and muscles all over his body was roaring loudly. Every time he took a step, the ground trembled, as if it were a walking hill. Please calm down, Master Jack. We've worked hard, but Simon is too strong, and now he's taken by Lucifer, we. Um. Jack, whose mouth was covered by a mask, stared at him with a cold look. What do you mean? Are you blaming me? Simon is too strong. He has been severely injured by Lousy, and only half of his life is left. How can he be stronger? Stared at by Jack, the pirate soldier was so frightened that his whole body was chilled and his head was sweating profusely. He froze in place and did not dare to move, with tears and snot flowing from his nose. If you can't catch him, you can only say that you are trash. Boom. Jack knocked away the talking pirate soldiers with one punch, and the pirate soldiers flew into the air, and their bodies exploded directly, turning into blood and flesh splashing all over the sky. Seeing this scene, many pirates nearby were all trembling with fright, and kept silent, none of them dared to speak. The law of survival in Beast's pirates is very cruel. Here, the strong have the absolute power of life and death over the weak. It is a routine operation to kill someone who disagrees with each other. Even if Lousy wants to grab a badly injured trash, what does Lousy want you guys to do? Wasting food. A bunch of idiots. After killing a few people, Jack reluctantly vented the anger in his heart, and his ferocious face eased a little. He sat on the ground and picked up a bottle of wine, drank it all in one breath, and then smashed the bottle severely. You say, that bastard Simon was taken by Lucifer? Jack glanced over, and the surrounding pirates shuddered. No. That's right. He was taken away by Lucifer in Sakura Flower Island, and then he wiped out two waves of our pursuers. Now we've lost track of Simon. A pirate soldier timidly replied, his body trembled when he spoke, for fear that Jack would also punch him to death. Lucifer, that arrogant brat. How dare you meddle in the affairs of our beast's pirates, I'm really impatient. Sooner or later, Lousy will let him know that this is the new world, not a paradise. Jack was arrogant and arrogant. Even though Lucifer did all kinds of great things in the first half of the Grand Line, he still didn't take him seriously. In his eyes, only Kaido is worth fearing. In the original book, in order to save Da Flamingo, Jack even forcibly broke into the warship guarded by Admiral Fujitora, Sengoku, and Suru Vice Admiral, which shows how brave he is. Boom. 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 Suddenly, the island shook for a while, and several volcanoes on the island erupted at the same time. The entire Van Lin Carl was trembling, as if it would sink at any moment. But many pirates of Beast's pirates are indifferent, they all know that this is the normal state of Van Lin Carl. They have been stationed here for more than two weeks, and situations like this have been experienced many times. After a while, a group of ashen-faced pirates with scorched bodies fled back to the camp in embarrassment. The first time they came back, they knelt at Jack's feet. Sorry, Master Jack, we failed and did not find the location of the treasure. A group of pirates knelt at Jack's feet and shivered. When the wind blew, everyone shivered. It seems that if you want to find what Captain Kaido wants, you must first find the treasure map. Jack's face was gloomy, and his pupils shone coldly. This time they received a tip-off from the insider of the Shinigami pirates, and they came here to ambush early, just to catch the Shinigami pirates and snatch the treasure map. But the operation failed. Although the Shinigami pirates were defeated and the captain was severely injured by him, they finally escaped. There is no treasure map, Jack has almost turned Fanlin Carl over, but still has not found the whereabouts of the treasure. On the contrary, because of the volcano and ferocious beasts on the island, many men were lost in vain. What gold and silver treasures, Jack is not interested. He is only interested in the ancient devil fruit mentioned on the treasure map, which is what Kaido wants most. This time, he was ordered by Kaido to carry out the mission, if he fails, he will be punished. Jack couldn't help but tremble at the thought of Kaido getting angry. Send someone to search again, if you can't find the whereabouts of Devil Fruit, you will all die here. Jack gave orders relentlessly. He didn't care about the lives of these pirate soldiers at all, as long as the task was completed, even if all these people were dead, Jack would not care. Beasts pirates lacks everything but people. Every year, there are as many pirates as they want to join their beasts pirates. Although the surrounding pirates were afraid, they did not dare to resist Jack's order. Although they knew that the island was very dangerous and they would probably die if they went there, they had to go. Because they dare to disobey Jack's order, they will die in the next second. At this moment, a pirate suddenly rushed into the camp in a panic. Master Jack, Master Jack, something is wrong, off the island, off the island. Because he was running too fast, the pirate soldier stumbled and fell to the ground, and slid face down for dozens of meters, finally stopping at Jack's feet. 
What happened outside the island? Jack grabbed the pirate soldiers and asked darkly. A pirate ship appeared outside the island, the flag is the nether pirates, and the devil Lucifer is coming. The voice of the pirate soldiers trembled, not knowing whether they were afraid of Jack or Lucifer. Demon Lucifer? He actually came. Hearing Lucifer's name, the surrounding pirates start to panic. Jack has the guts to ignore Lucifer, but they can't. These pirate soldiers have long been frightened by Lucifer's record. Just hearing his name, the fighting spirit in my heart disappeared. Don't panic, idiots, Lousy is still here. Jack threw away the pirate soldiers and roared loudly. Master Jack, Lucifer's strength is terrifying, do you want to tell Captain Kaido? A pirate captain walked up behind Jack and asked with a serious face. HMPH, who do you think Lousy is? Lousy is Jack the Drow. What's a Lucifer? Just a brat, of course I fought him. Lucifer is already in sight, so what's the use of telling Kaido at this time? Wanokuni is far away from Cape Tianya, and when the reinforcements arrive, the daylilies are all cold. At present, except for fighting Lucifer, Jack has no other way to go. The pirate captain under him wanted to say that they could actually retreat. But this idea was dismissed by him as soon as it appeared. Fleeing without a fight is not something Jack can do. He didn't dare to do that either. If Jack really escapes without a fight, even if he can escape from Lucifer, he will face Kaido's wrath when he returns. Kaido doesn't need a runaway minion, even if he's Jack the Drow. Come over with Lousy to see how strong that kid is. Jack twisted his neck and walked out of the camp first. Hundreds of pirate soldiers quickly followed behind him, and a group of people marched to the shore in a mighty manner. At the same time, Nether has also approached Fanlin Carl. Lucifer stood at the bow, and Enel, Cavendish, Wabel and other cadres stood behind him. Oh, here we come. Lucifer's eyes lit up when he saw a group of pirates rushing out from the island. The leader is Jack the Drow, one of Kaido's three plagues. That's right, it's him. Simon also walked to the bow with his seriously injured body. When he looked at Jack in the distance, his eyes exuded endless hatred and killing intent. These are the people who destroyed the Shinigami pirates and killed off his crew. Now, the chance of enmity has finally come. Simon was a little excited, and the hand holding the gun trembled slightly. Yeah ha ha ha, you guys just keep it on the boat and watch. Leave it to us here. Enel patted Simon on the shoulder and laughed. That's right, there's no need for you, a seriously injured guy, to take action today. Cavendish drew his famous sword and was ready to go. Ha 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 ha. The other party's name is the same as yours, you two are not brothers, are you? Guy suddenly looked at Jack and smiled playfully. I don't have any brothers, and are you blind? Jack the Drow is a murloc, and I'm a human, even the race is different. Jack rolled his eyes. Oh, don't get excited, I'm just joking. When two Jacks meet, they have to fight anyway, Jack, it will be up to you later, don't let me down. Relax, Captain. Jack is also eager to try. He is also looking forward to the battle of people with the same name and surname. Looking at the opponent's appearance, he is obviously ready to fight. Guy saw, baby five, give them a gift first. Lucifer gave the order. As you order, Captain Lucifer. Hey, blah, blah, let's see what my uncle said. Baby five and Guy saw stepped onto the bow at the same time. Baby five's right hand becomes the cannon barrel, which rotates with the muzzle, emitting dazzling blue light. Guy opened his mouth wide, and a dazzling blue light also burst out from his mouth. Small Pluton cannon. Gas spray gun. The killing moves of the two erupted at the same instant, and two blue laser beams whizzed out, instantly hitting the place where pirates gathered on the island. Rumble. Two fireballs soared into the sky, and two small mushroom clouds appeared on the bank of Fanlin Carl. Baby Five still uses the weapon tricks above ancient weapon Pluton. This time it is a small Pluton cannon which is less powerful than the last time it destroyed the Dressrosa Palace, but it is still not to be underestimated. Hundreds of pirates died under this cannon. Guy is using the ability of gas fruit. He gathers the gas produced in his body in his lungs, and then spits out a linear gas laser cannon to destroy the opponent's body. Its power is so powerful that it can even melt steel and burn the bones of opponents. The joint attack of the two, the battle has just begun, and Jack's men have suffered heavy casualties. Unknowingly, the attacking firepower of the nether pirates has become very powerful, it can even be said to be terrifying. Not to mention Baby Five's Pluton Cannon and Guy's Gas Laser Cannon, these two large-scale lethal moves. Enel's Thunder Fruit is also extremely powerful, and a thunder attack can destroy an island. There is also the strongest Lucifer, who can use all their tricks. Using any Logia ability at will can easily destroy an island. 
In terms of large-scale firepower bombing, although the number of Nether Pirates is small, their power can be ranked among the top in the world. The Nether Pirates are already a veritable unlimited firepower pirates. Rumble. Fanlin Carl's shore was engulfed by a sea of flames, and countless pirates escaped from the flames, screaming. One by one, the firemen fled around in the sea of fire, trying to jump into the sky. But many people were burned to ashes by the flames before they could escape into the sea. Suddenly, there was an elephant's roar in the sea of fire. A huge elephant trunk drilled out of the sea of flames. The elephant trunk was like a big sword. When the sword fell, it tore the sea of flames apart. Rumble. As the giant elephant trampled, the sea of fire was torn to pieces by him, and a super huge mammoth appeared in front of everyone. Yeah ha ha ha, this guy's abilities are pretty good. Seeing Jack using the fruit ability, Enel was a little surprised. Indeed, this Jack really ate a marvelous fruit. Lucifer also agrees with Enel. Zone ancient species elephant fruit mammoth form. Whether it is attack or defense, size or vitality are impeccable. This is the zone ancient species. Jack, go try it first, and see how much he weighs. Yes, Captain. As soon as the voice fell, Jack disappeared on the nether in an instant. A black shadow streaked across the sky, landed on Lou Fanlin Carl Island in an instant, and teleported to the top of Jack the Drow. Call out. A huge slash shot out through the air, hitting the giant mammoth instantly. As Jack grows up, the power of cutting fruit has been well developed by him. Today's Jack can create giant cutting strikes with a single move, and he is becoming more and more like a ripper, as if he wants to chop everything in the world. Rumble. The slash hit Jack, and a shock wave erupted, rolling up endless waves of dust and air. The surviving pirate soldiers all showed panic. Before he had time to react, he was hit by the shock wave circle. Boom. A gigantic trunk shot out of the dust and fell head on at Jack the Ripper. A loud noise erupted, and the coastline was directly cracked, and a crack spread for hundreds of meters. Jack the Ripper dodged the slash, flashed across the giant elephant. The cold light flashed away bringing out a smear of blood and flying into the sky. The giant elephant let out a roar in pain, and trampled directly towards Jack. The two sharp tusks shone coldly, then became pitch black, apparently covering armament hockey. The giant elephant tramples like an out-of-control train, containing unparalleled power. Coupled with the sharpness of ivory and armament hockey, as long as it hits, Jack will definitely be pierced through the chest, and his internal organs will be instantly shattered. Crack the air. Jack let out a roar, and scimitars grew out of his arms, flying quickly. Countless slashes shot out of the air, colliding head-on with the giant elephant. The two of them launched their killer moves together and became one with each other, and the battle soon became fierce. The pirate soldiers nearby fled one after another, not daring to stay on the shore for fear of being affected by the battle. Jack the Ripper and Jack the Elephant, both attacks are too horrible. Once involved, it will be crushed into a flesh in an instant, and there will be no bones left. It seems that the two will not be able to tell the winner for a while. On the bow of the nether, everyone watched the battle ahead without intervening. Let them fight, Jack the Ripper and Jack the Drow, and I want to know who is stronger. Lucifer smiled faintly, waved his hand, and docked the nether on the shore. However, before the two decide the winner, you first get rid of the group of miscellaneous soldiers. Lucifer looked at the beast's pirate soldiers hiding in the distance, there were hundreds more. Yes, Captain. Cavendish, Baby Five, and Gysa burst out at the same time. Cavendish turned into a gust of wind and rushed into the crowd of pirates. Wherever the strong wind went, the pitiful wailing of the pirates could be heard. The gust of wind is like a sharp sword, bringing up blooming bloodflowers in the rotation. In the blink of an eye, dozens of corpses fell in a pool of blood. Baby Five's hands turned into scimitars, moving vertically and horizontally, beheading the pirates one by one. At the same time, he turned the soles of his feet into Gatling machine guns, and with one sweep, he beat Tien and the pirates to pieces. Gaisa has the worst personality, he has to play with those pirates before killing people. Then kill them with gas or fire. This group of pirates can't use armament hockey, so Guy can pretend to his heart's content. Lucifer didn't do anything. With his current status and strength, it would be out of character for him to attack these miscellaneous soldiers. Jack the Drow was Lucifer his prey. When he is defeated, Lucifer will do the finishing touches and still get kill points. Wable didn't get Lucifer's order, and stood motionless behind Lucifer, like a log. Simon looked at the many pirates who were massacred at will, with a look of pleasure in his eyes. He was very excited, his body was trembling with excitement, and he raised his gun to shoot from time to time, headshot the pirates one by one. Although his injuries have not healed and his hands are weak, 
his marksmanship is still very accurate. One shot, one shot, one shot, one hit. No, this won't work, everyone run. We are not the opponents of these people, retreat first. A squad leader of the beast's pirates gave orders, turned and ran away after speaking. Not everyone can be as tough as Jack the Drow. When death comes, fear is natural. Is this retreat? Uncle Ben hasn't played enough. Guy turned into gas and chased after him, and the two castanets clapped together, directly detonating the gas. With a loud bang, the pirate captain and a dozen pirates were all blown away by him. Monster. This is a group of monsters. Contact Captain Kaido. Stop it. Do you know who we are? We're from the beast's pirates. You shot at us, Captain Kaido just let you go. That's right. Captain Kaido is the strongest monster in the world. Do you know how terrifying he is? You are doomed. Even if you escape to Cape Tianya, you don't want to live. Some pirates yelled in fear and took out their phone bugs to contact Beast's Pirates headquarters. There is also a group of pirates who are vicious and aggressive, and use the name of Kaido in an attempt to scare away Cavendish and his party. However, none of this helped. The ghost pirates don't care about Kaido's threat. Without Lucifer's order, the killing of Cavendish and others will not stop. Hello, is that Jack? How's the situation over there? A pirate got through the phone bug, and was about to speak when he was beheaded by Cavendish. There was only a shrill scream that was transmitted to the opposite side. Hey, what's the matter? It's Jack, right? How's the situation over there? The phone bug fell to the ground, and the snail let out a low-pitched roar. But no one answered him, only screams echoing around. Jack, Jack, call back. The sound of the phone bug kept ringing. Lucifer raised his hand and grabbed it in his hand. Jack is busy right now and doesn't have time to talk to you. Lucifer said flatly. Who are you? Yan Zujin heard that the voice on the other side was not Jack, and questioned him. Me? I'm just a rookie who just debuted. Jack is very busy now, if I want to contact him, I will call you later. If he had been alive then, he would have answered you. Nu? Are you Lucifer? You bastard, what did you do? Flame Calamity Jin guessed Lucifer's identity in an instant. I didn't do anything, I just happened to meet Jack and asked my subordinates to compete with him. Jack is strong, don't worry so much. While talking, Jack the Ripper and Jack the Drow fought each other heavily, and both of them retreated. Unfortunately, Jack the Ripper lost a move to Jack the Drow. One on one, Jack the Ripper is no match for Jack the Drow. Go to hell, you bloody bastard. Jack the Drow raised his huge trunk and slammed it down towards Jack the Ripper. Wable, you too. Yes, Captain Lucifer. With Lucifer's order, Wilbur turned into a black shadow and rushed forward. The huge Naganata crashed down and slashed on the back of the giant elephant jack. Puff. Blood spurted wildly, and a huge wound was cut on the back of the giant elephant jack, and there were faintly visible bones. Roar. The giant elephant looked up to the sky and roared, sending out a desolate cry. Jin on the opposite side of the phone bug obviously heard it too, and was furious immediately, damn bastards, what did you do? If anything happens to Jack, the beast's pirates will not let you go. Although Jack is the weakest of the three disasters, Jin and Quinn also treat him very badly. But in any case, Jack is the core cadre of beast's pirates. It was impossible for Jin to remain indifferent to his death. I'm really looking forward to the day when I fight the beast's pirates, but Jack probably won't see that day. After speaking, without waiting for Lucifer to answer, Lucifer directly crushed the phone bug to death. Seeing that the phone bug was cut off from far away in Wanokuni, the flaming embers could no longer suppress their anger, and also crushed the phone bug in their hands into a pulp. As a phone bug, the life of a snail is indeed extremely dangerous. With the addition of Wabel, Jack the Drow, who was originally alone, finally couldn't support it. Jack the Ripper took his chance and chopped off one of Jack's tusks with a cutting slash. Not to be outdone, Wabel chopped off his other tusk. One of Jack's hands and one foot was also cut off and he could no longer maintain the mammoth form when he was seriously injured, and gradually changed back to the human form. Seeing that Jack was unable to fight anymore, Wable and the two also stopped attacking. Lucifer walked up to Jack, grabbed the huge ivory, flicked it slightly, and it was like a tiger. It is worthy of being ivory worth 900 million baileys, and it really lives up to its reputation. Lucifer smiled secretly, remembering the old tricks he saw on the forum in his previous life. Legend has it that Jack the Drow has a bounty of 1 billion baileys, of which 900 million is the price of ivory. Lucifer. Captain Kaido will not let you go. Jack was still unconscious, he was lying in a pool of blood, staring at Lucifer with his eyes open, as if he was going to eat him in one bite. Jack is a real tough guy pirate. 
Faced with death threats, he didn't beg for mercy, and there was no fear in his eyes. He was a man with backbone. I'm also looking forward to the day I fight Kaido, but you won't be able to see it. Lucifer smiled lightly and poked the ivory hard, piercing Jack's heart directly. Jack clenched his teeth and said nothing, snorted and stopped breathing. Ding. Host killed the pirate Jack and got 80,000 killing points. The system's notification sounded, and Lucifer's kill point surged. Jack the Drow deserves to be one of Kaido's three disasters. Although he is the weakest, he still provides Lucifer with 80,000 kill points. Now is not 1522, Jack is not as strong as in the future. Properties Panel. Host. Lucifer Age, 23. Devil Fruit. Word Spirit Fruit Physique, Hell Devil. Armament Hockey. Pinnacle Observation Hockey, Pinnacle. Conqueror's Hockey. Domain Kill Points, 130000. With this harvest, Lucifer's total kill points have reached 130,000. Closing the Properties Panel, Lucifer pointed his palm at Jack's body. Rebirth. As soon as the voice fell, the power of the fruit of the word spirit was activated, and the reborn mammoth fruit was captured. A fruit appeared in Lucifer's left hand. After merging the power of the mammoth fruit, the fruit quickly grew a spiral pattern at a speed visible to the naked eye. In this way, the ancient mammoth fruit of Zone was reborn in Lucifer's hands. This, this is Simon, who saw the rebirth of devil fruit for the first time, was stunned, his eyes widened, full of disbelief. Ha 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 ha. It's amazing, isn't it? No matter how many times I watch it, the strength of the captain is unbelievable. Guy turned into gaseous gas and swayed around Lucifer. He is a scientist, and he has also conducted related research on devil fruit, and even studied artificial devil fruit with Vegapunk. He believes that with enough money and manpower, he can create artificial devil fruit. But compared with Lucifer's ability, the man-made devil fruit is still far behind. The devil fruit recovered by Lucifer has no defects, and is the same as the devil fruit regenerated naturally. But man-made devil fruit has a fatal flaw, and even Vegapunk has not managed to solve that flaw. Captain, when will we build our own territory, I can't wait to experiment. Someday, I'll be able to make a perfect faux devil fruit. Guy was inspired by Lucifer's ability, and had many ideas about man-made devil fruit. As long as he can create a perfect devil fruit, it means that he has successfully surpassed Vegapunk. Wait a little longer, the time will come soon. Lucifer already has a goal in mind for the haunted place of the ghost pirates. On the ground, the body of Jack the Drow lay in a pool of blood, his use value has been completely drained by Lucifer. Even though he was dead, Jack's eyes didn't close, he was still staring at Lucifer. Is this death without peace? Lucifer has killed many people, but Jack was the first one who didn't close his eyes after death. Bury him, he's a tough guy after all. Lucifer gave the order as the last honor to Jack. Yes, Captain Lucifer. Wabel listened to the order and left with Jack's body on his shoulders. Afterwards, Lucifer looked at Simon, Simon, take out the treasure map, go dig out the treasure. Yes, Captain Lucifer. Simon took out the treasure map from his crotch again, a habit he couldn't change. Lucifer and his team followed the guide of the treasure map and walked towards the depths of the island. New World, Wanokuni, Ghost Island Palace. Rumble. The mountains shook for a while, and a huge pillar of fire broke through the ceiling of the palace and soared into the sky, shooting through the clouds in the sky. The sky changed suddenly, and black clouds gathered, covering dozens of miles in an instant. Endless gusts of wind howled, as if doomsday had come. At this moment, the emperor of the sea is angry. Even the weather of the sky was changed by his anger. Lucifer. Damn kid, how dare you do it? Even dare to kill Lousy's people, isn't he afraid of death? Kaido's roar echoed in the Ghost Island Palace, and tens of thousands of pirates tightened their necks, trembling, not daring to make a sound. Kaido is in a state of rage, and getting his attention at this time is almost tantamount to courting death. Jin. Where is that brat now? Kaido, who had already turned into a green dragon, looked at Yenjo Jin, his huge pupils exuded endless killing intent. It should be Carl, but if you go now, Lucifer should have gone far away. Waste. What a bunch of waste, you can't even find a single kid. And Jack is also a waste, and he died at the hands of a brat, it's too shameful. Kaido's huge body hovered and danced in the palace, shaking the mountains with every slight movement. The wrath of four emperors Kaido is enough to change the color of the world. Lucifer is not weak, and it is only natural that Jack is not his opponent. It's just that Simon can find Lucifer as a backer, which Jack didn't expect. I can only say that Jack is out of luck. The only one who dares to say these words at this time is Yan Calamity Ember. Anyone else would have been burned to ashes by Kaido's dragon breath. 
Lousy doesn't want to listen to such nonsense, immediately send someone to find that brat. Dare to steal Lousy's devil fruit and kill Lousy's subordinates, Lousy will not spare him. It's time for that arrogant kid to experience the world's number one combat power, and let him know that what he did before was just playing a pirate game. Accompanied by a roar, the blue dragon Kaido soared into the sky, and flew into the clouds in the sky from the big hole in the ceiling. The green dragon raged freely in the black clouds, and endless lightning struck him, unable to penetrate his dragon scales, as if they were tickling him. This is Kaido, the strongest creature in the world. His defensive power is unparalleled in the world, and only one person has left a scar on him in decades of crossing the sea. Its own terrifying physical power combined with the green dragon fruit makes Kaido's defense and self-healing power terrifyingly strong, and it can be called an immortal body. After Kaido's order was issued, all the beast's pirates' eyeliners in New World were dispatched to find Lucifer's whereabouts. The anger of the New World Emperor can only be appeased with blood. Fanlin Carl, Lucifer and their team entered a volcano according to the treasure map. The temperature here is extremely high, as if it can burn people to ashes. It's here. Simon came to a rock wall, looked at the map and said. Wabel, leave him. Yes, Captain Lucifer. Wabel stepped forward, swung his naginata and slashed down angrily. With a loud bang, the volcanic rock wall was split open, revealing a large hole. Smoke and dust were everywhere, but there was a faint golden light emerging from it. When everyone entered the cave, what appeared before them was a huge treasure house. Gold coins are piled up into hills, and there are many gems, diamonds, palace treasures, gorgeous long swords, crowns and so on. The treasures are innumerable and dazzling. Hey 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 hey, you got rich, this time you really got rich. There are so many treasures. Gaisa couldn't hold back at first, turned into a ball of gas and rushed to the gold coin hill, holding up the emperor's gold coins and scattering them in all directions. Jack the Ripper and Simon were also dumbfounded, stunned by the treasure in front of them. There are so many. Yeah, I didn't think of that either. Simon never thought that there are so many treasures buried here. But suddenly, Guy, Jack and Simon all found out that Lucifer, Enel, Cavendish and others didn't respond. Looking at the treasure in front of him is like seeing a pile of stones. Wabel didn't change his expression because he was not smart enough, as long as he had something to eat, he didn't have a concept of money. But the same is true of others, which can't help but make people wonder. Hey, Enel, aren't you surprised? Jack looked at Enel and asked. Simon's gaze was also on Enel. What's so surprising? Isn't it just a batch of treasures? There are more treasures on the sky island of this god, and there are not even a thousandth of these here. That's right, we discovered the legendary golden city. Cavendish held the rose and said triumphantly. That was the first time he became famous. With the discovery of the golden city, Cavendish gained countless beautiful fans all over the world. When Cavendish said this, Jack and Simon immediately remembered. A few months ago, there was indeed news that the Golden City had been discovered. It's just that Jack was a slave in Mariajoy at that time, and Simon didn't read newspapers very much, so he didn't know that the people who discovered the Golden City were the ghost pirates. Compared to the legendary Golden City, the money here is really nothing. Money is useless to our nether pirates. As long as Captain Lucifer is around, how much money can we have? You probably forgot that the captain's ability can create creatures from the void. As long as the captain is willing, even if it is to create a golden mountain, it is easy. Cavendish shook his head, looking at the cheering guy and the stunned Jack Simon, as if he was looking at three old hats who had never seen the world. The three of them were stunned, feeling as if ten thousand muddy horses were galloping past in their hearts. It is a little ashamed to play a few gold coins. Hasty, it turned out that the clown was actually myself. A bitterness rose in the hearts of the three of them at the same time. It turns out that our nether pirates are such a rich pirate group that they already have too much money to spend. But the three of them couldn't be happy at the moment. If you have money, tell us earlier, do you want to see us lose face so much? We don't want to lose face, do we? Okay, let's find devil fruit first. Lucifer said blankly, yes, Captain Lucifer. By changing the subject, Guy sent a few people to search for devil fruit. Soon, Gaisa found out in a hill of gold coins. He peeled away the hill of gold coins, and found a golden throne from below, with a skeleton sitting on it. The skeleton holds a golden treasure chest in his hand. Guy opened the treasure chest, and there was a devil fruit inside. Found it, Captain Lucifer. Guy quickly came to Lucifer with the treasure chest. Lucifer took out the devil fruit, the whole body of the fruit was brown and black, with strange spiral patterns all over it. This is not a banana shape, unlike normal zone devil fruit. 
But the treasure map says that this is an ancient species of zone, which is different from ordinary animal pictures, and it is reasonable. Okay. Now that the devil fruit is in hand, it's time to leave. Lucifer put away the devil fruit and turned around without any hesitation. Enel, Cavendish, Baby Five and Wabel quickly followed without saying a word. But Gysa, Jack and Simon hesitated. Hey, what are you guys doing in a daze? Hurry up and keep up. Cavendish turned his head and looked at Guy and the three of them. Are we leaving just like that? Guy looked around at the mountains of treasures piled up around him, feeling somewhat skeptical about life. This is the treasure that countless pirates have dreamed of. The total value is definitely more than three billion baileys, which is a huge sum of money. You didn't even look at it, just left? Are you kidding me? Is this the way pirates do? So did Jack and Simon. It can only be said that they have never seen the world, have never made a fortune, and suddenly got a huge amount of treasure, and they are a little bit reluctant. Then what else do you want? Move the treasure here out. Enel tilted his head and looked at Guy, who looked at three idiots. If you want to move, you can move it yourself, we don't have that leisure time. After speaking, he left immediately. Gysa, Jack, and Simon looked at each other in blank dismay, not daring to stay, and followed quickly. What can they say who made their captain rich? Everyone returned to the nether, and the nether immediately set sail, leaving Fanlin Carl. On the deck of the pirate, the three of Guy and Saw looked at the treasure island that was getting farther and farther behind, and their hearts were still very distressed. A huge treasure of more than three billion baileys was discarded, and it would be a lie to say that I don't feel distressed. Today, they finally know what it's like for a captain to be too rich. That is the coexistence of pain and pleasure. It's so refreshing. Okay, let's take a closer look, isn't it just money? We have plenty of it. Cavendish patted Guy and the three of them on the shoulders, shook his head and said. That's right, what our nether pirates need most is money. Enel nod on the apple and laughed. Okay, come here. Lucifer gave the order. With a wave of his hand, three devil fruits appeared on the table. Simon, you provided the treasure map this time, and it's also your credit for getting two devil fruits. Why? So I give you the power to choose. These three devil fruits, one is Jack's ancient mammoth fruit, one is an unknown ancient species recorded in the treasure map, and the other is my collection. Choose one yourself. These three devil fruits, one is Jack's ancient mammoth fruit, one is an unknown ancient species recorded in the treasure map, and one is my collection, Paramecia Transparent Fruit. If you want, you can pick one yourself. No, Captain Lucifer. To avenge my companions by killing Jack the Drow has fulfilled my wish. Take Devil Fruit again, I'd be too brazen. Simon shook his head and said firmly. Okay, I tell you to take it and you take it. Devil Fruit is for people to eat, otherwise it is garbage. Most of the people on the boat are already demon fruit power, and they also have the right to choose Devil Fruit, since you are on the boat, naturally they will be treated equally. Choose one yourself. Simon looked at the three devil fruits and finally chose the transparent fruit. Have you decided? You have to think clearly, once the devil fruit is eaten, it cannot be changed. Yes, Captain, I will choose the transparent fruit. Simon knew his abilities well. He is a sniper, a grandmaster assassin, good at long distance combat. Although the two zone ancient species are powerful, they are both suitable for frontal combat physical powerhouses, not him. On the contrary, the transparent fruit that can be invisible is the most suitable for him. With the transparent fruit, he can better hide his tracks and give full play to his sniper's ability to assassinate. That's good, I also hope you choose the transparent fruit. Lucifer smiled slightly. The transparent fruit is so strong that even observation hockey can't perceive your existence. If you are, you can get to that step, maybe you can become the world's number one sniper. I will not let you down, Captain Lucifer. When he was desperate, he got Lucifer's rescue and solicitation, and he took revenge for it. Simon has given his allegiance to Lucifer and is willing to give his life for him. Now that he still has the trust of Lucifer and is given the devil fruit, Simon made up his mind in his heart that he must become stronger so that he can show Lucifer's kindness. Simon opened his mouth to eat the transparent fruit, completely ignoring the disgusting taste. Soon, the whole devil fruit went into Simon's stomach. How do you feel? Try your ability. All eyes were on Simon. I saw Simon sitting there motionless, but suddenly his body began to become transparent, and soon disappeared completely. Invisible to the naked eye, only observation hockey can perceive him. Yes, the transparent fruit is really suitable for snipers. Lucifer nodded secretly, as long as it's not the same as the pervert last time. If you dare to use it to peep, I will never forgive you. Baby Five still remembers Absalom's pervert behavior, and has a lot of resentment. Don't worry. I'm not that kind of unscrupulous pervert. 
Simon recovered from the transparent state and said with a smile. At the same time, Lucifer put away the other two devil fruits, and at the same time whispered softly, Bullet is back. As soon as the words fell, a piece of steel appeared out of thin air in front of Lucifer. The steel extends and quickly becomes a bullet sniper rifle. Bullet heavy sniper, the most famous sniper rifle in Lucifer's previous life, with terrifying power. The moment it hits the human body, it can tear flesh and blood. Once hit by bullet's heavy sniper, it will either die or be disabled. Your sniper rifle has been damaged, this gun is for you to use. Its power will not let you down. There are many kinds of weapons in the world of One Piece, but in terms of firearms, they are not as good as Lucifer's previous life. Bullet's heavy sniper is much more powerful than Simon's original sniper rifle. If combined with armament hockey, the power will be even stronger. Lucifer is looking forward to how powerful the bullet heavy sniper will be in this world. Thank you, Captain. Simon was thrilled. He is a real top sniper, and the quality of the sniper rifle can be seen at a glance. Simon caressed Bullet's body lightly, as if he was stroking his lover. It is said that top snipers will regard their guns as lovers, lovers and even life, and now it seems to be true. Okay, the power of the warehouse and the transparent fruit. You'll need it soon. Lucifer is going to attend the tea party of BIGMOM pirates soon, and there will be a big battle at that time. At the same time, by beheading Jack the Drow this time, Lucifer angered Kaido again. It is equivalent to the ghost pirates confronting two four emperors at once. The fierce battle will come soon, and the time left for them is running out. Enel, Cavendish and others also understand this, so they have been working hard during this period of time. The big battle is coming, even if they increase their strength a little, it can increase the odds of winning the battle. In the cabin, Lu Shi entered the system. System, how many killing points are needed to identify this devil fruit? Lucifer held the unknown ancient species devil fruit and asked in his heart. Back to host, 20,000 killing points are required for identification. 20,000? The appraisal alone costs 20,000? Lucifer was a little taken aback. The more expensive the identification fee, the stronger the ability of devil fruit. It seems that this fruit is not simple, maybe it is really an ancient species. The information recorded in the treasure map may not be true, but the identification of the system cannot be false. System. Recover this devil fruit. Ding. Zone ancient species dragon dragon fruit Pachycephalosaurus form was recovered successfully, and 70,000 killing points were obtained. So it's this ability. Pachycephalosaurus is the ability of beasts pirates flying six cells to moisten tea in the original book. If Lucifer hadn't intervened, the fruit would have been snatched by Kaido and eaten by Runti. But it's a pity that it's Lucifer now. Recovering an ancient species Pachycephalosaurus fruit provided Lucifer with 70,000 kill points. Lucifer's total kill points exceeded 200,000 again. Properties Panel. Host. Lucifer Age, 23. Devil Fruit. Word Spirit Fruit Physique, Hell Devil. Armament Hockey. Pinnacle Observation Hockey, Pinnacle. Conqueror's Hockey. Domain Kill Points, 200000. Lucifer already had saber-toothed cat fruit and mammoth fruit, so it is not a pity to recycle Pachycephalosaurus fruit. So far, Lucifer still has five devil fruits in his hand including saber-toothed tiger fruit, door-door fruit, blood-blood fruit, stone-stone fruit, and mammoth fruit. Except for the door fruit, the other four are very powerful. It's a pity that no suitable crew has been found to eat them. Except for Cavendish and Wable, all members of the ghost pirates are capable. Cavendish repeatedly stated that he didn't want to eat devil fruit, and Lucifer couldn't force him. As for Wable, Lucifer has also thought of the ability that suits him, but he hasn't got it yet fruit of the door, it's time to make it work. Lucifer looked at the door fruit in his hand and opened the system store. Soon, Lucifer found what he was looking for, system, buy a ship elf. Ding. The purchase of the ship elf was successful, 100,000 killing points were deducted, and the remaining killing points were 100,000. A black light fell down, and an elf appeared in the black light. The elf looks different from the Grand Line's ship elf. It looks like a hell devil, but he is a Q version, which looks quite cute. The spirit of the ship is a spirit produced by the crew who love each other and cherish the hull of a ship. It will only appear when you are close to the crew to a certain extent. Lucifer's nether obviously doesn't meet this requirement, so Lucifer can only buy it with kill points. Properties Panel. Host. Lucifer Age, 23. Devil Fruit. Word Spirit Fruit Physique, Hell Devil. Armament Hockey. Pinnacle Observation Hockey, Pinnacle. Conqueror's Hockey. Domain Kill Points, 10000. Although it cost Lucifer 100,000 killing points, the consumption was worth it. Owner. 
The demon elf saluted Lucifer respectfully. The demon elves bought from the system store are more intelligent and capable than naturally born elves. Here you are, eat it. Lucifer throws the door fruit to the demon elf. Obey, master. The demon elf picked up the door fruit, bit it down, and sweat splashed. Maybe the devil elves have different tastes, not only did it not find the devil fruit unpalatable, but it ate it with relish. Soon, all the fruits of the door enter the belly of the demon elf. How do you feel? Can you control the power? Lucifer looked at the demon elf and asked. Master, I can already use the power of the door fruit. The demon elf waved his small hand, and the nether trembled suddenly. Cavendish standing on the deck at the helm saw that the space in front of the nether suddenly cracked, and Yu Yan got into the space crack uncontrollably. Then the space crack healed, and the nether just disappeared into the sea. Hey, hey, what's going on? Enel, Cavendish Baby 5 and others looked at the distorted space around them and were at a loss. The space around the nether was all folded and distorted, and the speed of the retreat was so fast that it was almost invisible to the naked eye. Captain, something has happened. Cavendish's anxious voice sounded from outside the door. Lucifer pushed the door out, the demon spirit sitting on his shoulder. It's okay, don't be nervous, Lucifer said flatly. This is the demon elf, the ship elf of the nether. It has already eaten the door fruit, so it can travel through space. Starting today, he is also a new partner on the ship. Lucifer introduces the demon elves to the crowd. Spirit of the ship? There is such a thing? Eat devil fruit? Cavendish, Baby Five, and Gaisa were a little surprised. The ship spirit is a legendary creature, very few people have seen it, and its existence has never been confirmed. Today was the first time they saw it with their own eyes. And it is unheard of for a ship elf to eat devil fruit. Xiao Hei, remove the ability. Yes, master. Xiao Hei got the order, and with a wave of his little hand, a space crack appeared again in front of the nether. Passing through the crack in space, nether returned to the sea. But the place where it appeared was far away from the place where it disappeared before. In the different space, the distance sailed by nether is different from the real distance. With this capability, nether will be the fastest pirate ship in the world. At the same time, it can sneak into the enemy's lair unknowingly and leave unknowingly. Even if the enemy can use observation hockey to discover the existence of the nether, but without space and rules, they cannot capture the nether from the different space, nor can they harm the nether. Although the door fruit does not have a strong attack power, this space system ability is extremely powerful. Theoretically, as long as the former ability user Bluno hides in a different space, even Marine Admiral or Four Emperors Kaido Big MOM can't do anything to him. Lucifer has the rule power of the fruit of words, so he can be defeated. Whitebeard's shock fruit shatters space and should hurt him too. In addition, there are very few methods that can threaten people with door to door fruit abilities. It's so powerful, the ship elf who ate the door fruit is so powerful. Cavendish, Baby Five, and others were surprised by this. All the people present were smart people, and they immediately thought of the role played by the nether with the fruit of the door. Okay, it's almost time, it's time to attend BIGMOM's tea party. Xiao Hei, travel through space. Yes, master. Xiao Hei listened to the order and once again manipulated the nether to enter a different space. In this way, the nether disappeared in the boundless sea. New world, Wanokuni, Anajima Palace. Kaido's roar echoed in the palace, like a sonic attack, making the beams tremble. Haven't found that kid Lucifer yet? What are you bastards doing? Kaido slammed the wine gourd to the ground, smashing it into pieces. Roaring roared out with a powerful wave of air, making the surrounding pirates shudder and tremble. I'm sorry, Captain Kaido, our outside eyeliners have not found any traces of the ghost pirates. After Lin Carl left, he seemed to have completely disappeared into the ocean. The beast's pirates have their eyes all over New World, and they have been tracking down the ghost pirates. But unfortunately, it has not been found. A bunch of trash, could it be that that brat can still hide in the sky? Lucifer kills Jack the Drow, steals his devil fruit, and makes multiple Italians flourish. But unfortunately, he couldn't find anyone. This feeling of having nowhere to vent his anger and nowhere to vent his anger made Kaido very uncomfortable. At this moment, the voice of the phone bug suddenly rang. Boo blue blue. Blue blue blue. The palace suddenly fell silent, dead silent. No one dared to make a sound, only the voice of the phone bug echoed around. Kaido picked up the phone and connected it, and the snail suddenly turned into an ant wearing lipstick. Well, well, Kaido, long time no see. The voice of the four emperor's ant came from the opposite side. What's the matter? Old woman. Kaido is in a fit of anger and doesn't have a good attitude towards Big Mom. Well, so indifferent. Kaido, I thought we were friends. 
Speak up if you have something to say. Lousy is still busy, so I don't have time to talk nonsense with you. Well, well, I'll just say it straight. Kaido, I'm going to hold a tea party, you should come over too. I haven't seen you for so many years, let's talk about the past together after a long absence. Well, well. Aunt's laughter came from the opposite side. Unlike Kaido, you can tell that Big Mom is in a good mood just by hearing the voice. Don't talk stupid things, old woman, we don't know each other that well. If Lousy wants to go to your place, it will only be for one reason, and that is to start a war. Kaido yelled at the phone bug and sprayed the snail in the face with saliva. Well, well, are you really not coming? I've heard, you've been chasing Lucifer lately, right? It's none of your business. Speaking of Lucifer, Kaido's anger couldn't be suppressed again. HMPH, that's not necessarily true, because Lucifer is coming to my tea party soon. Maybe, he will soon be my mother's subordinate. Well, well, well. Auntie's laughter reveals a sense of complacency, but it is extremely harsh to Kaido's ears. Kaido roared in a low voice, that brat is going to you? That's right, he has already accepted the invitation letter. The tea party will start right away, and he'll be at Cake Island in no time. How about Kaido, are you coming? Well, well. Boom. Before the ant's laughter ended, the call was interrupted with a loud noise, because the phone bug in mom's hand fell into a dormant state. In this regard, the ant is not angry at all, but even more proud. She already knew Kaido's answer. Well, well, the tea party needs a lot of people to be lively. In the palace of Cake Island, ant's piercing laughter came out, and there were countless food homies dancing to the laughter. In Wanokuni Ghost Island Palace, Kaido has smashed a big hole under his feet, and the poor phone bug has been crushed by Kaido. Damn brat, killed Lousy's subordinates and ran to that old woman's territory? Captain Kaido, are you going to the BIGMOM pirates? The flame calamity next to him knows Kaido very well, he has already guessed what Kaido is thinking. Of course, the account of killing Jack will be settled with that brat. Kaido stood up, holding a mace in his hand, and twisted his neck to make a crackling sound. It just so happened that Lousy hadn't seen that old woman for a long time, so this time I happened to meet. By the way, kill that arrogant brat, but, that's the territory of B-I-G-M-O-M. Jin still hesitated, and then he said, let me bring someone to go with you. No need, Lousy alone is enough. You don't think Lousy will be in danger against a mere brat, do you? Kaido stared, bursting out with murderous aura. Even Jin can't question him like this. Of course not, Lucifer can't but there's the whole BIGMOM pirates out there, if they team up with Lucifer. So what if we join forces? Who do you think Lousy is? Lousy is Kaido, no one in this world can kill me. An old woman and a brat can't do it together. With Kaido's roar, his body began to deform. Kaido first turned his hands into dragon claws, then his neck stretched, and his head soared into the sky, turning into a dragon head. His upper body seems to be able to extend infinitely, turning into the body of a green dragon hundreds of meters long. With both feet flying into the air, Kaido's lower body turned into a dragon's tail. Roar. A dragon's chant shook all directions, and the green dragon Kaido smashed through the ceiling of the palace and flew into the sky. As if to welcome the arrival of the blue dragon Kaido, the situation above Onagao Island changed and was instantly covered by dark clouds. Chinglone Kaido rushed into the clouds and soon disappeared. Flame Calamity Jins and many pirates looked at the disappearing Chinglone Kaido and remained silent. Some pirate soldiers are okay, but Yan Calamity Ember has an ominous premonition. He didn't understand why he felt this way. Maybe I'm worrying too much. Flame Calamity Jin retracted his sight and began to direct the Beast's Pirates to operate. He is the number two character of Beast's Pirates, usually when Kaido is not around, everything in Wanokuni is dominated by Jin. In a sea area of New World, there is an island. There is a small country named 647 on the island, named Milliken, famous for its delicious butter. Every year, countless tourists come to this country to taste the delicious cream unique here. But today, the country is ruined. The whole country fell into a sea of flames, and countless residents on the island were burned to death by the fire. Not only the country, but the entire island has been engulfed in flames. From a distance, the island and the palace on the island look like a huge cake being roasted by fire. A pirate ship is sailing away from the island, the pirate flag hanging on the mast is fluttering in the wind, hunting. Above it is the logo of Four Emperors B-I-G-M-O-M. It's a pity, from now on, I will never taste Millican's special cream cake again. On the pirate ship, Baron Eggy looked at the burning Millican kingdom in the distance, and said regretfully. There's no way around it. Why can't they hand over enough Zelicon cream? Proof. 
Mom's anger is terrible. Pokemus was also looking at the burning kingdom. His face was expressionless. Only the picture of the flames was printed on the glasses. They have seen this kind of thing many times, and they have long been used to it. Four emperors B-I-G-M-O-M, known for gluttony, especially like desserts. For dessert, she can do anything against common sense. Ruining nations, grilling islands is nothing but commonplace. The reason why the Millican kingdom will be destroyed this time is because they can't hand over enough Millican cream. Okay, Pokemus, go back, go to mother's side. Fortunately, the collected Millican cream can be used to make some desserts, which should calm my mother's anger a little bit. Eggy Baron turned and left. Yes. Just like that, the BIGMOM pirate ship disappeared on the sea level, leaving only a burning island of flames. The buildings on the island were collapsed and smashed in the sea of fire until they were reduced to ashes. Another country was destroyed by BIGMOM's appetite. Things like this happen almost every year, because BIGMOM holds a tea party every year. Millican Kingdom was not the first, nor will it be the last. The news that four emperors BIGMOM will hold a tea party quickly spread throughout the New World. Some kings of the underground world, powerful pirates, and nobles of the kingdom set sail one after another, heading for the Sea of Nations. They all received invitation letters, and no one dared to refuse the invitation of the four emperors' aunt. All of a sudden, the area around the Sea of Nations was very lively, with countless ships appearing. Whether it is a pirate ship or a merchant ship, all the people on board are well-known figures from the New World. And Lucifer's nether has also entered the waters of all nations. Captain. Is this the territory of BIGMDM? It really lives up to its reputation, food is everywhere. On the deck of Nether, everyone is eating watermelon. What they are in now is the juice sea area in the territory of all nations. The seawater here is all made up of juices. The watermelon they eat is not a fruit, but the watermelon monkfish unique to the juice sea. Big MOM is a woman famous for her gluttony, her kingdom is of course full of food. The juice basin is not the most unusual thing, and later on you will see islands that are all made of chocolate, or islands that are all made of cream. Cake Island, the core island of BIGMOM pirates, is full of desserts. Although he has never been to the Sea of Nations, Lucifer has a clear understanding of the situation here. The people who live here are not bad, at least you don't have to worry about being starved to death. Jack knows this well. Born as an orphan, he suffered from poverty and hunger as a child. Life only improved after joining Marine. Originally, I wanted to dedicate my whole life to Marine, but unfortunately, due to God's will, I became a pirate in the end. In this cruel world, it is a very happy thing to have a full stomach. There is a price to living here, too. That old woman in BIGMOM is not a philanthropist, how could she be so kind? Lucifer shook his head and smiled mockingly. BIGMOM is a paramecia soul fruit capable person, as long as there is fear of her, her life will be taken away by her. BIGMOM has established a law in Wang Guo, and all citizens living in Toto Lan must pay one month of life every six months as a fee for BIGMOM protection, otherwise they must leave. However, BIGMOM will never allow anyone to leave Toto Lan, anyone who tries to leave will be sentenced to death. In other words, everyone in this kingdom is a life container raised by Big MOM. From the day they lived in this kingdom, their lives no longer belong to them. The choice between slow death and immediate death is just a matter of time. There are special surveillance manatees in the ocean of the Sea of All Nations, and Lucifer's arrival was quickly discovered. Oh. Is Lucifer finally here? In the palace of Cake Island, BIGMOM received a report from his subordinates. That's right, Mom, we have found the whereabouts of the ghost pirates, and they are approaching Cake Island. Well, well, that's good, just in time for this tea party. Let Snug pick him up and bring him to Cake Island. Yes, Mom. Charlotte Tesnag was dispatched immediately after receiving the order from BIGMOM. Under his leadership, Lucifer and his party arrived at the core Cake Island of the world without any hindrance. Cake Island in the Sea of Nations, the tea party is about to begin. The port is full of pirates from BIGMOM pirates, and there are countless chess players lining up. Many members of the Charlotte family also came to the port, and they were all responsible for welcoming the guests here. There are also core cadres of the BIGMOM pirates headed by Katakori, who guard here to ensure that no one makes trouble. Every year at the tea party, there will be a few idiots who refuse the invitation, and after BIGMOM sends revenge gifts, they will all come to revenge. Katakori's task is to deal with these people and add a bit of blood to the tea party. Kings of the underground world, nobles of the country, and the famous big pirates of the new world landed on the shore and entered Cake Island. The welcome ceremony of BIGMOM pirates was well done. 
When each guest came, the people next to him would shout, which made people feel the enthusiasm of BIGMOM pirates. At this moment, the crowd suddenly exclaimed, the nether pirates are here. As soon as the words fell, everyone's eyes turned to the sea. Everyone wanted to see the man who single-handedly bulldozed the holy land of Mariajoy, slaughtered the celestial dragons, and defeated the marine admiral. I saw a pirate ship flying the devil's flag approaching, and soon berthed on the shore of the port. Demon Lucifer, I didn't expect him to come. There are rumors in the world that Lucifer already has a combat power comparable to the four emperors. I don't know if it is true or not. This is the first time I've seen Lucifer in real life. I wonder if he's as scary as in the legends? What's scary? Lucifer is the most beautiful man in the world, and his handsomeness is world famous. Finally I can see him, if I can spend a good night with him, death is worth it. Many underground kings whispered earnestly, countless beauties screamed and shouted, and the scene was very lively. Morgans held up his camera and took pictures wildly, with an excited expression, big news, this is really big news.